Welcome to another dirty episode of Dirty Four Podcast. I'm Claudio Capri. This lovely lady slash vegan is Victoria Blair. Uh, Peter and Joy, they're not here. They're doing some shows, but we have an amazing guest. We have Paul Loduca, who is an actor and comedian and musician. And uh, yeah, hey, Paul. Hi. You know Can what? you see me? Yes, we could see you. We could see you. Uh, but no, oh man, like I always have this thing. I'm like, hey, you know what? We should like hide the guests in the back room and then bring them on after. Because when we have like our introductions, the guests. Yeah, is like, that could be cool. Yeah, that, 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 that could be. Um, just before we continue, we have Jess Sorrell all the way from uh, Australia. Oh, stop it, Jess. Stop it, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Jess likes you. You know, well, you know, no kidding. We have uh, Jess from Australia and uh, Jess. And Jess. Time? From Australia as well is there. That's that's that's, that's, that, that's what I said, Victoria. That's what I said. Uh, people who are watching, don't forget to uh, you know to do the following, to uh, you know like, share, and subscribe to our page for awesome shenanigan episodes, and also follow Paul. There's links at the bottom. You can find mm-hmm. them on Instagram, the YouTube, and the Facebook. But we're gonna have uh, uh, an intimate conversation with Paul. You know, Ooh, intimate. Yeah, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna dig into Paul's dark past and there why you go. Paul is. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, so Paul, how are you? Uh, uh, it's been a while. It has been, been. so nice to see you again, and nice to meet Victoria. Hi, Victoria. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> fellow comedians. I haven't seen you guys uh, perform yet, but I'm sure I will soon. Oh, we're you know amazing. I, I imagine so. We're very funny. <laughs> yeah. Top, top. We haven't been on JFL yet because they're like, that would be too much. It would be, be too, too much. much. <laughs> too much for them? It would be too much for them. They can't afford Yeah, it would be too much saying. for them. Plus, they would yeah. be able to handle and, you know, gotcha. the laughter. Yeah. And plus, and plus, Victoria's a vegan, so, you know, they can't, they're, they're JFL's like, oh, we can't Why did you always bring that up? Because it's not because relevant to anything. It is relevant. You just, you just don't like it, but you know how relevant You have diabetes, all right? So You know what? You know what, Victoria? Okay. <laughs> You know what? Suck it. Anything else, guys? Would you like me to step in and <laughs> yeah, shut Paul. it down? Who's right? Who's yeah, right, Paul? Yeah, Paul yeah. Who's right? Who's You're right? What's worse, right. diabetes or right. veganism? It's the truth about both of you, and you should uh, rock it proudly, I guess. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, Paul. All right. So let's get into it. So, Paul. Uh, so, for people who you know who have not heard of you, uh, just tell them a little bit about yourself, Paul. Well, that's a really vague question. I don't know. Uh, um, what are your pet peeves? Oh boy! <laughs> What's your favorite? Color? That's for another whole show. We're, <laughs> I'll just keep to the good stuff. I, I don't know. I'm I'm a I, you know I'm I'm an actor, and musician, and comedian, and director, and writer, and yeah. video editor. We we do everything. You know, these days especially, you get to do everything, and you also have to do everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's yeah. a yeah. it's a privilege, and it's also like I don't want to say curse, but it's also a pain in the ass. So you got to do like everything uh like i said and uh i enjoy it though i do nice. and uh i've i've had a I've, i'm grateful to have had a, a great background in the music industry with my mm-hmm. band and the success that the band saw and that's what kind of led me back into acting and building uh my social media platform for uh comedy in particular so which is really impressive like you're thank you i was perusing yes. through your instagram and like the videos are just Thank you. A top quality, and you have like I don't know how many followers. 
Um, it says it says on Instagram uh, how many people follow people, Victoria. <laughs> no, I know, but I <laughs> forgot because I was doing other stuff as well. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know why? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I have a million followers or or less. It's just that exactly. I I. My, that when you see my stuff, you enjoy it enough to want to stay I and do. watch more, yeah. and I that's do. what it means to me. So. I do, I do, and you know, and 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 uh, and uh, one of the questions here that uh, that I you know that I wrote here is like, you know, like how do you come up with your sketches? Um, I, I, all of it's relatable stuff that just happens uh-huh. to me throughout the day, uh-huh. or friends of mine, or stories of family and friends that just I died laughing at. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um. And stuff like pet peeves and stuff that, you know, bothers me about what uh, is going on in the world. And I just try to, I don't even have to embellish a lot of it (laughs) because it's so ridiculous. So I just, because it's so genuine to me, I I think that's why it it resonates with people because it's Mm -hmm. just, it's real to me. I'm not just trying to do the next trend. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Just for me, I it, I need to have a personal connection to yeah. the comedy that I'm doing because it's got to be. Okay. And then because every character I do in any of my mm-hmm. sketches is mm-hmm. all an aspect of me and my personality. So I love to share share that with everybody and yeah. and um and just be vulnerable that way. You know, yeah, when we're yeah laughing, absolutely. You, you gotta you gotta laugh, especially now. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, especially. It, it's therapy for me as as yeah. well as anyone who it's a bonus for me that people think yeah. it's funny enough to want to stick around and comment and share it and everything. But I yeah. post for me. I make oh, it for me. For sure. You know? For sure. So. But you know, that's what it does like the, that saying, you know, Hey, you know what? If you, if you want to follow me, great. I, I accept it. But if you don't want to follow me, you know, the windows right there. So go jump out. You know, jump out of it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you can't, maybe you could say that on your show, but you can't say that anywhere else. I don't know. No, for but, sure. Uh, but yeah, I understand but, what you're saying. Yeah. We do, we do threaten our, our listeners. I think it feels sometimes. like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. It's, hey, hey, welcome to the dirty four. You better fucking stay. Yeah. You yeah. better like this video guys. Yeah. yeah. Like you better it. fucking stay because we got uh, Tony and Ernie outside. <laughs> yeah. I like know where you live. Go. Exactly. Yeah. But one of my favorite, uh, actually, you know what? One of my favorite sketches that, you know, that you've done out of everything, you know, I, I, like, I just like everything that you do. And, Thanks, and one of the things I love is that when you play the two wise guys uh, getting hired at a bar. <laughs> that's one of my favorites too man that, I, I, I'm, like, I'm glad you like that one i'm like that is that that is just fantastic and i'm like i'm like oh man thanks bro yeah i, I it, love doing that stuff i love playing every character i'm yeah. three characters in that sketch yeah and i'm just <laughs> sitting there trying to orchestrate it it's more of a pain in the ass to set it up than it is to like you know actually deliver yeah. and do it because yeah. that's the fun part right yeah and then i get to you know the editing is fun too because you kind of get to make it look as real as possible and yeah because i I green screen that whole thing so yeah um so i I like to i put i I focus on the uh, the little details Uh that probably a lot of people miss but for me that's what makes uh what makes it good for me yeah do you uh do you uh you know when you're playing on your sketches do you write like a little uh, script for yourself or is just like on the fly um some of the best sketches happen on the fly especially when you just say fuck it i'm gonna just film it Um, but a lot of times I like to script it out and I like to sit with it for a bit, Okay, but not too long because us as comedians or musicians or anything, all us creative people, you tend to overthink things. Um, and that's just the truth. So like you gotta, um, like just force yourself to do it. And then once you get going, it's good, you know? Yeah, so, absolutely. But absolutely. the scripting helps because it keeps things flowing, especially when you're working with other people. Yeah. I work with other my comedy partner, Stella, and, and the other comedians that I work with, some of the guys yeah. from Montreal. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You really got to like, you can't just improvise it all the time, right? Exactly. Especially if it's over Zoom. I've done a bunch of uh, sketches that mm-hmm. try to make it look like you're in the same room, but are like, you know, you got to have it scripted out. Um, yeah. But then there's some magic that always happens. Somebody always improvises yeah. something and it's. Oh, cool yeah. Keep, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Hey, people just tuned in. Uh, but uh, no, one, see, no, because one of the things, like, you know, I, I just love, you know, doing all these is like, you know, yeah, it's the planning, but, you know, and, and it's just you're watching your work coming to life, you know? Oh, yeah, so, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, that's you it. To so, see so, the so, final product, it's, yeah, it's yeah, like, very like, rewarding. 
Yeah, like when I was watching one of your sketches, you know, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, and I'm just imagining, you know, seeing you know, now this may sound a little bit odd, but I can just imagine you being like, oh man, you know what? This is good. This is good. This is really, you know, like like just watching your scene just come to life. You know, that you, must be you beautiful. know, you know when you have a gold take. You know what yes. I mean? And yes. it's so it's so you know rewarding. But sometimes, um, sometimes like you're not feeling it, but you're doing it still. And yeah. the best part is that. You're always, most of the time, for me anyways, I'm fortunate that most of the time I'm better than I think I am in my takes. So then uh -huh. when I go back to it in editing, there, there's like, I try not to be too hard on myself because it's like, uh, you didn't really get it. You weren't really feeling it. And then I go back and like, ah, I, I did nail it here. Or this is actually mm -hmm. funnier than mm -hmm. I thought it would be. So it's, mm -hmm. it's us as creatives, like I said, you got to try to not be so hard on yourself and just let it happen because yeah. you can really ruin the process if you overthink it. Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. That's so true. yeah, that, yeah. That's just uh, sorry, Victor. Were you, were you gonna say something? No, okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. no, she wasn't gonna say nothing. All right, all right, all right Victor. Uh, no, that's the thing, you know, like, like, like that's the thing, the same thing for me for when I uh, when I do stand up, right? It's like, as I, I like, like most nights, yeah, no, I'll feel it, I'll be like, ah, oh, you know, this is good, and then and then I put too much pressure on myself, and I get off stage, yeah. I'm like, man, I put too much pressure on myself, I shouldn't have done that, you know, but I well, guess. Stand up's such a completely different beast. Uh, yeah, I completely respect that. You know, it's not it's not the same. You know, with you can get your when you're filming stuff, you can get the take you want. When you're yeah. up there, you're mm -hmm. dealing you're dealing with the actual crowd. You're interacting with real energy. You know, yeah. and and you whether it's good or bad, you know, it's up to you to try to keep that going. And you can't control what's happening in that room. You know, so it's great to just it's liberating to just go and you know be you in that moment. You know, your stuff enough to kind of be yeah. able to play yeah. to the crowd and deal with anything uh, on the fly if somebody says something even if it's not a heckle even if it's just something that you know you're yeah. kind of going off somebody says something it's funny and then you start playing off of them you know uh that that's catch it that's magic you know yeah. so it's a completely different beast it's completely not comparable to or even remotely similar to doing sketch comedy for video stuff mm -hmm. i know that for a fact so how 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 was it their first time when you did stand up? Like, what were like, uh, you know, what did you feel? Like, what did you like? Were you, were you like, were you shitting like bricks? Because I was shitting. Yes and no. I, I just, uh, because of all my experience in, I, I've always loved performing since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. okay. And with my experience with the band, like, we were, my band, Nevers, was, was touring everywhere. Uh, we got to play some of the biggest uh, stadiums and arenas across our country, in Germany, the States, everything. And we were opening up oh, for, wow. for the Backstreet Boys and Nukas on the Block, you know? So we got to play all of those um, things. So I love being on stage, um, and it's very easy to be on stage with four other people. But when you're up there by yourself, it's a completely different monster. That's why I say I have such respect for uh, the art of stand-up. But it's so like it's so much better because all the attention is on you. You're getting it's, all yeah, of it. Yeah, that's great. You know? All the attention is on you, especially if you're fucking up or bombing. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so it's and it's a good it's a good experience either way. Like before my first official stand up thing, I did go yeah. up somewhere <clears throat> and I wanted to bomb, and I did. <laughs> but I I went really up there. Cool. I didn't try to suck. I just was telling a story that was not as funny as my other stories, yeah. right? And it's not like the crowd was bad with me i just know that it wasn't it didn't hit the way i wanted it to yeah. you know and i wanted to just feel that a little bit by myself before i went up for my big show but then when we did the big show with uh lisa Giuliano there and uh rabiani uh and shane kipple we did it and it was uh, a great crowd and i had a 10 minute set and it was amazing couldn't have gone any better at the time that's so cool so i was spoiled in that sense but i'm glad it, it hit you know nice yeah 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 so yeah do you uh do, do you think about going back to stand up? Yes, I would love to be able to do that and just feel free with what I'm talking about. You yeah. Know, that's all a you know, a you thing as a you know, just being comfortable with yourself and up there and the material you're going up there talking about just to like be able to play and and not worry about if you're sticking to your script or anything like that. You know, I don't yeah. wanna, I don't want to be scripted. I want to go up there and just have the points and just talk about my passionate opinion about it all and yeah. and say it in the funny way that I might say it. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. it's different than with music. But even with music, you rehearse and you rehearse. Yeah. So you, you don't have to think about playing so that you yeah. can go and actually enjoy these moments that you're capturing with the crowd, mm -hmm. you know, and with each other. Yeah. So to get in that comfortable spot uh, with stand-up would be something I really strive for. 
So. What kind of uh, comedy do you do? You do rants on stage? No. So I've done, yeah, I have done a little bit of both. I don't do sketch comedy on stage, that's for sure. Uh, no. <laughs> but I do, I guess they're rants. I guess they're funny rants. I talk about moments, you know, yeah. moments and, and, and things that were said or things that I said, you know, it depends on what it is. Mm. Um, but even with my social media stuff, I do a lot of funny rants. But I, yeah. I, I play with the, you know, I love the editing is a huge superpower for me because I love yeah. to emphasize things in funny animated ways and uh, uh -huh. the different voices and, and the characters and the facial expressions, you know. So, yeah, so yeah that's nice. kind of where my creative center uh, <laughs> comes from. So, okay. Yeah. How about you? I, uh, oh, I don't, I want to do rants. I want to do rants. I think it would be good because whenever I do a rant, Claudio like loves it. He loves it when I get mad for some reason. That's the I best. Don't know. On Everybody, stage, on stage. <laughs> people resonate with that kind of like genuine raw passion, you know? So, exactly. And I yeah. think I'm not scared. When I'm mad, it's not like a, oh shit. It's more like, oh my God, that's adorable. Is that how she gets mad? You know, like. Yeah. It's more like it's, <laughs> it's more it works for you. I think since you calm down. What? I, I think your I think, your internet is. Yeah, um, I know, I know, I know. I think you should eat meat and calm down. Oh my god! <laughs> Read well, the room, bro. Read no, it. thank you. <laughs> but what, uh, what about rent? you, Claudio? What's your? Uh, yeah. No, oh, by describe the way, describe no, your I'm, comedy. I'm having I'm having some uh, internet issues. So so if I so so if I lag, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, so no, so my comedy. Uh, basically, I like I like to be an idiot on stage. Oh. You know, it's like five to ten minutes. I'm like, you know what? Like, because when I started comedy, I tried doing joke, and people like a few years ago, if you both saw me a few years ago, you're like, bro, I saw you, and I want to go jump out the window, slip my wrist at the same time. You were fine. Uh, no, 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 no. This is before I met you. Uh, but no, because I, I was not comfortable on stage. I didn't mm. really connect with the crowd, and and people were like, you know, they were expecting to see the way I am off stage the same way I am on stage. Mm -hmm. So now, like, you know, I just do jokes about, you know, growing up in my Italian family, you know, uh, having no game and dating, you know, and just, you know, just me being an idiot, you know, and, and, uh, and uh, I, and I think people like that. I mean, like, I'm getting laughs. So whether they're laughing yeah. at me or with me, it's different, you know? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think especially lately you've gotten so comfortable that you're kind of like a clown on stage. Where like you just yeah. walk funny to the microphone yeah, and you yeah. grab it funny and like people are hold giggling on. the whole hold time. On, hold like, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Walk for you what? funny. Funny how? What do you what do you mean funny? Like you're mm. funny. You're just funny. You know what? You know, Victoria, first of all, thank you for saying that. Second of all, <laughs> it's a compliment. I'll take it. All right. <laughs> And third of all, you know what, Victoria? Okay, maybe I've been having stressful times whenever you saw me going on stage, like walking to the stage. You know, sometimes it can be really difficult. You know, I'm just saying, maybe to maybe, walk on stage is yeah, difficult. Yeah, well, no, sometimes you know it's difficult. You're a stand-up comedian. Yeah, but you know, so <laughs> quiet, Victoria. You're making you're making uh, you're making uh, Paul. It's like Beecher. five feet to the microphone. Yeah, What's going feet, on with you? Yeah, listen to me. Five feet for? Do you understand that you have to get on the stage? Do you understand? Maybe you the should. Go vegan. Stop yeah. eating meat. No, you you'll walk better. That? Yeah, you'll walk better. <laughs> like, one feet in front of the other, Claudio. You, you, like. you change that diet, you might actually cure yourself. It's the truth. Listen, listen to me. Okay, diets are for the no, 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 no. Oh, Okay. But, but no, I've been on a diet. But no, all, no, but all I'm saying is that you know, because like, I love because I love self-deprecating humor. Well, yeah. so 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 that's 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 good. Self-deprecating is really good. That I is really it. good. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. How's my internet connection? Is it good? Right it's now. good. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Because 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 I feel silence between the uh, you know. Victoria well, it's because you didn't like... say anything funny. So. <laughs> <laughs> what a roast fest! You guys. <laughs> Should I get the fucking beef or what? No pun intended. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Don't worry. So don't funny. worry. Don't worry, Victoria. You should have worn boxing gloves, you two. <laughs> you about to say you <laughs> fucking idiots? No. <laughs> I would have said that if I wanted us. to say it. Uh, yeah. it, it. Paul, Paul, you could swear at us. You know, even even yeah. like you, like even if you're talking, you know, you could swear. You Thank could you. Swear. I have a few times. It needs to come uh, from the heart. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? 
Yeah. It can't just yeah. for nothing. It's exactly exactly a good a good uh, fuck in the right place it does wonders. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. Uh, yeah. So so we've been you know obviously you know talking about your successful stuff, but what like what was uh, a difficult time for you? Uh, All you're of on it. Stage. <laughs> what age? No, 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 on stage. I'm trying to stay oh, on stage, okay. but I've been cut off. But no, like, 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 were there times where you know you were whether you're doing a sketch or you went on stage for your band or stand up? Was there a time where like, oh fuck, like you have like second opinions and try not to poop your pants? Um, sure, there were lots of times like that, but I was fortunate enough to pull through. Um, cause it, with the band, we were thrown into the fire a lot and we got to do amazing things that we like mm-hmm. sing the national anthem at the NBA all-star game was one of the biggest things we ever did. And it was televised. Oh. It was in 2012. Um, yes. and, uh, we had never sang an anthem before, so we were shitting ourselves, but we were confident in the rendition that we had come up with. And at the beginning, there's footage of it. You can see it on, on YouTube, but. At the beginning, you kind of we had in ears in like in ear monitors, mm-hmm. so we can hear ourselves. Um, and as they're introducing us, televised live, five hundred million people watching, and every fucking celebrity you can think of, uh, we're like, our ears weren't on. They did not turn our ears on. So oh. you can kind of see me in the in the in the footage. I'm kind of like, I'm looking back at the at the sound guy. I'm like. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh can I? You know what I mean? Like it's fucking uh but they came on last second. They're like oh. Toronto natives, never. And then you hear it, you hear it pop, and we're like, so you can kind of see us all kind of take a breath and we're like, because <laughs> if we can hear each other sing, then you know you're fucked. You know, you can't sing without hearing yourself. Um, that would have sounded so weird. It like looked everybody. weird, but it sounded great. Gotta tell yeah. you. <laughs> um, but we also uh I, I also went in Germany once I we wanted to say something in German to the mm-hmm. crowd and we were playing to 11,000 people and we were there. Uh, and, and every one of us had something to say Four guys in the band. And every time it came to me, I would always choke on my saying on the, the German yeah. part that I was saying, and I could only get out the first word, which is Danka, which is thank you. Yeah. But I had a whole thing, like a whole thing I was supposed <laughs> to say. Uh, and every time I try to do it, I'd just be like, Danka, and you hear it, Danka, Danka. like it just fucking echoed. The like guys would die laughing because they knew I had to say more, but no one else knew, right? And then the last night, I, I, we we played five shows there, and um, the all four shows I choked and I couldn't say it. I just said Danka, and the fifth, <laughs> the last night I nailed it, and yeah. no one expected me to nail it. That it was even funnier that I actually did it all the way through, and we were dying. We couldn't. The guys were fucking crying on stage. We were like. <laughs> Anyways, it's not funny, but when if you were there, it was hilarious. Uh, it sounds really funny because I'm I'm imagining you like practicing in front of the mirror exactly over and over and over again, and then like you say Donka, and then you come back home, and you're like, all right, Paul, this time you're gonna do the whole lane. Like, you yeah. give yourself a pep talk. You go on stage. You can't do it again. Every time. That's exactly what's doing. That's why they thought it was so funny because I would literally practice it all day long. <laughs> Okay, because I wanted to get it right. I wanted to get the tonality right, the accent right, everything. And I just for four nights in a row, it didn't matter. So yes, that's okay. why it was funny. <laughs> well, you know, well, people were laughing at you. That's 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 they didn't know awesome. that the crowd cheered the loudest because I said it. You know what I mean? They understood because yeah. they were German, so they understood me say something that made sense, but the guys Oh man, hilarious! Anyway, oh man, <laughs> could have, you could have said snail, snail, you know, and uh, no, that would have been awesome. What does that there mean? There are snails. Are there snails? Well, no. Do you like escargot? Is, is that like the Ramstein song? No, yeah. no, 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 no. Ramstein. <laughs> no, you know who that? I'm yeah, surprised yeah. you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, That's yeah. Because you, you know, Ramstein is. Of course. Okay. I love Ramstein when I was in high school. I'm okay, a huge, okay, I'm a huge okay. rock guy, so I, I yeah. know exactly. Nice. Yeah, no, Rammstein's good. You can't go wrong with Rammstein. You can, but it's a. <laughs> it's, it's only it's a very acquired taste. <laughs> only a few a few tracks. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> so. Rammstein Ram- good, huh? Uh, yeah. Nine, nine, nine. Yeah. <laughs> Danke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big uh, I'm a big corn and limp biscuit fan. Those those are the bands I yeah, grew up on. Corn, yeah, oh yeah, that's yeah. good. How about yeah. The, yeah? How about Metallica? I wasn't a big Metallica fan. I like Metallica. I like the their big songs, but I wasn't like a fan fan. You know. Now, mm-hmm. 
How about now? How about Nickelback? Do you like Nickelback? I fucking love Nickelback, and I will fight anyone as to why they are a great band because everyone hates Nickelback, right? I feel like people hate Nickelback because it's cool. Like they have no idea. Yeah, because they are followers hating. in life and they don't know anything. Exactly. That's, exactly. They're losers. It, it's always cool to hate what's hot. The, the that, same absolutely. thing happened to Limp Bizkit, to Creed, mm. to yeah. Justin Creed, Bieber. You know what I mean? Yeah. It comes back around. You know, all these bands. Yeah. And artists are great bands and artists. They're great. Yeah. They're not mediocre. They're not shit. They're great yeah. bands. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And they saw success for a reason. And I know from every angle, from being a musician, trying to make it, from making it a little bit, to being a fan and seeing these bands, especially Nickelback, mm -hmm. being a Canadian band, broke barriers in every sector of the music industry. Their songs are played on every major radio type of station from soft yeah. rock to pop yeah. to rock to uh, a country you know what i mean yeah. to soft rock everything that's a dream come true for a band yeah. and artist because that's how you get paid to make a fucking living all yeah. right and yeah. and it's radio play and they're worldwide one yeah. of the biggest bands in the world that yeah. guy is is richer than you can believe they all are and guess what they're all actually great nice guys i was fortunate enough to uh, meet most of them and it was a dream of mine come true and they were so kind and generous and g genuine um yeah. and uh and it, if you buy a Nickelback record, it is a hard rock, almost metal record. And people don't know that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Right. But yeah. it's, it's, it, they have their hit radio songs, you know, the softies for the girls and whatever. And then they have their rocking tunes. You know what I mean? And yeah. all of them are great. Yeah. Why break, why, why fix something that ain't broke, as they say? You know what I mean? And they put on an amazing live show. So, yes, I love Nickelback. <laughs> they do. Actually, when I was a teen, I went to see Oasis live, and it was mm -hmm. so boring that I left because it was just the same as putting on a CD. And I went to see Nickelback, and that was – they had, like, so many pyrotechnics. Yeah, and at some point, they showed pictures of their family. And, like, I don't know. It was just so good. It was so – you felt like you were, like, in the moment with them. Yeah, like, yeah. you were sharing something special. They were captivating. They that's, really were. And, and that's what a, a band needs to be. That's yeah. It's, it's it is about the music, yes, but it's you gotta be everything up there. Even yeah. as a performer, it's still it's the same as a it's the same as a, a comedian. You know, you need to be fucking entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. people are going to see something live. So they oh. want to be there with you. They right. don't wanna exactly they don't wanna otherwise they would stay at home and watch Netflix. You know? Right. I like yeah. what one of those what are your one of the people here said. Yeah. Alpha There's, first time. Great point. Yeah. There's something uh, called a Nickelback theory. It's about how could something be bad if it's extremely, extremely successful. Uh, that's good, Alex. That's good, Alex. But it's that's the truth, theory. you know. Like that's and that's that people get in. They just yeah. say what's cool. Their friends don't like it, so they're uh, you know yeah. whatever. Now yeah. there is something, of course. A lot of their songs sound the same, and that's yeah. why yeah. people mostly don't like it, right? Yeah. Every fucking Drake tune, every fucking hip hop song that's out, that all these that's they true. literally yeah. sound the same, and they don't yeah. even have peaks and valleys. It's all all the plateau one way linear all one melody all the way through you're lucky if you get a hook in there with like rihanna or something like that and there's an actual chorus to the song mm. which is amazing rap is rap it's a different appreciation i get it there's nothing against that the point is that uh when you are tr an artist whether it's in comedy or music you're trying to brand yeah you're trying to you create something that people know you for mm -hmm. and that's yeah. why mm -hmm. people who like nickelback want mm. to hear nickelback they don't want to yeah. hear nickelback sound like fucking oasis you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah they don't you don't go to nickelback to you know have a, a different type of sounding band all right that's it they're nickelback for a reason yeah uh, corn is nickel is corn for a reason and justin bieber mm. is justin bieber for a fucking reason you know what i'm saying yeah no, you, you have sure. a brand you know you can only yeah. go so much off brand to try something new you know what i'm saying it still needs to yeah. be in the same vein of your craft mm -hmm. that's why even with comedy you're gonna pick there's people are known you know what bill burr's known for you know what mm -hmm. Russell yeah. Peter's known for? Yeah. You know what Sebastian is known for, right? Yeah. They're known for a niche type of comedy. That's an amazing thing on their behalf. They branded enough, and that's why they're paid millions. Because yeah. people want to see that. They don't want to see Sebastian do Bill Burr stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So so this is they're both great, but you can't one do the other's stuff, mm. right? It's the same thing with bands. So that's yeah. why I, I like I said, I'll I'll fight anybody to to their reasoning as to why bands like Nickelback. Or bands that sound, you know, like themselves are are shit. Okay, but wait, 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 wait. You don't like Drake? I do like Drake. That's not okay. what I'm saying. What okay. I said was I like Drake <laughs> and I like his stuff because in with respect to the rap, but all yeah. of this, yeah, the whole album, it's very similar. Every song, mm -hmm. right? 
And yeah. but if you're a Drake fan, you want it to sound like that. Yeah, yeah, you don't, yeah. You exactly, don't want Drake yeah. to sound like Justin Bieber. Okay. Yeah. You yeah, can feature true. Justin Bieber, but you don't want him to yeah. sound like that, right? Yeah. You true. don't want to hear Justin Bieber start rapping like Drake, do you? You know what I'm no. saying? True. Because no. it, might, it might be <laughs> no. really shit. How about we just leave that for Drake? You know what I'm true. saying? Yeah. So yeah. this is not to hate on any artist. This is actually in respect yeah. to every single artist, even though I'm comparing mm. them and making it sound like, you know, it, it's, 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 I'm just saying it's funny in our culture mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. these kids grew up on this urban stuff, okay, which some songs are banging, some artists are great, but for the most part, they all literally sound the same, okay? Yeah. yeah. Ojo yeah. Cat and Nicki Minaj, it's all the same, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, it's still, you know, like, you know, good for them that they like it. But they, they've all made a successful brand for themselves because they sound the way they do. Yeah. And who yeah. am I or who is anyone else to, like, judge them for, for you know, yeah. any other reason? It works. If yeah. it didn't work, then they wouldn't be where they are, you know? Yeah. Exactly. No, but. Yeah, Plus, no, they work right. really hard. Those people. Yeah. Like, some people, yeah. I think, I think don't realize. Like, they'll see, like, Nicki Minaj or something and they'll be, like, just a pair of tits or whatever. It's like, No. You don't understand how hard that person's work. Like Lady Gaga is not like some ridiculous person. Like she works fucking hard. Yeah, she's amazing. She's everyone yeah. works. You need to work hard. And exactly. when it be, and when it happens for you, you need to work even harder. Yeah. You yeah. don't get to have the success and just so many artists will in history as you've seen, they take advantage. They're most of them unfortunately are already lost souls. And they end up turning to drugs or they're, mm -hmm. de you know, depressed still. They have everything in the world still depressed. Mm -hmm. And that's not to knock them. This is how it is. But most people yeah. will take advantage in all the wrong ways. Yeah. They blow it up. They blow it all up their nose or they're a real piece of shit with it. And then you have your other artists, your other people who have done great things with their success and their money. And they're good people. I think when you get rich or when you become successful it it amplifies who you really are yeah inside true so if you're mm. a piece of shit yeah. when you become rich and whatever then you were always a piece of shit yeah okay? and i but, mean that wow. from my fucking heart yeah. okay because yeah. there's no reason why why you need to be you know like that you know what i'm saying yeah, for and sure. now everyone has a bad day we're not talking about that right you see some of these yeah. celebrities they look like they're being mean to their fans but they're bum guys like bieber and drake they're bombarded yeah. all day long and all of their privacy is destroyed right mm -hmm. so a lot of these outbursts of these uh, celebrities are very merited they're warranted yeah. you know what i mean they're they're credible yeah. Yeah. and they're and that's the still are the bullshit media making it look like something it's not making it look worse than it is oh you yeah know? no yeah. absolutely completely leaving out the context right mm -hmm. so yeah. when you learn to have respect for all levels of this you know even what i'm saying about you know people kind of throwing it away these people are not happy people, no. right? Mm -hmm. And I've seen yeah. bands take advantage of their shit, take advantage of people, uh, just be complete dicks with it, right? Yeah. And then you see how long their platforms last or not, right? Uh, and absolutely. then you have the nicest people ever, the most genuine guys. They they may do well for a while, but in the in the end, you know, as the saying goes, the nice guys finish last. Yeah. Like everybody, it's, was, it's just funny what, yeah. you, what people choose to idolize or not. You know? Exactly, but you know yeah. what? It's, it's uh, the, the the nice guys finish last is actually it, it's. It, I was just gonna mention something about that thing. I brought it up, but you know, but 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 that's true, right? People wanna people wanna see. I don't know what it is. I think people like people that are assholes. I don't know. They want to see someone drama. who's larger than life. Yeah, yeah exactly. But, exactly. but the, it's all an illusion and it's all bullshit. Yeah. The fact that you ever you, look, I have, I, you know, people that I think are, I, I do this a lot. I know uh, I have a, I, I have people that I look up to and admire in the industry, mm -hmm. but I would never call any of them my fucking heroes. You know, those are my parents. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people yeah. don't have parents. They can call heroes. I get it. But the point is you have to do this for yourself. Yeah. If yeah. there's anyone that you should idolize in a good way, in a self-loving way, not a selfish, rude, egotistical way, but in a self-respectful way, you have to make yourself your idol, okay? Mm. And, and I don't mean like, oh, look at me. I'm better than everyone else. No, no. I mean like being there for yourself. That is yeah. the key yeah. component. All these people who did, who have made it this big, uh, you know, I'm sure they've been, you know, they've sold their soul somewhere here and there. It depends. But a, a lot of these people who are good, hardworking people um, were there for themselves first. They didn't give a fuck about what their friends and family thought. Uh, which is the most the biggest thing that holds most people back. Yeah. What their yeah. loved ones think. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But what if people who just did what they actually like 
loved yeah. what they what actually lit them up. What if they chose that instead of what their parents wanted for them? That's yeah. true. Actually, huh. go ahead. Sorry. Uh, I don't know. Go ahead. Fish, what are you going to say? No, no, no. I'll keep going if I keep going. Like, you can, <laughs> oh, please, yeah. please. No, go ahead. I love no, it. No, Because no. I was God. watching, because uh, I was watching uh, Jeff Dunham on uh, YouTube and, and, yeah. and there was a comment. And someone's like, you know, if I didn't listen to my parents, uh, they were laughing at me and saying, oh, no one's going to, you know, uh, watch you uh, putting a, uh, a, no, a, your hand up a puppet's ass yeah. and talk. Now Dunham is making millions of dollars. Dunham is one yeah. of the, he's the only person you can think of as far as ventriloquist goes now. Yeah. yeah. He's the only name that comes to mind. Who else, do, who else do you know? Right. We've all seen mm. ventriloquists, but he mm. is the only name that I can think of that yeah. does that stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's how yeah. well he's branded. That's how well yeah. he's made his craft, his world and then some. And I admire yeah. people like that because yeah. they've made it for themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, they have, you know, and they've had help. There's always a team. You got to surround absolutely. yourself with the right people. But a Absolutely. In the end, it's yeah. how much you believe in yourself and what you're doing, you know. And there's always hard times. Sometimes you gotta do things you don't want to do just to uh, take that uh, stepping stone to the next big thing, to the next big step, if you will. You gotta get a job. You, I've had to, I've had side jobs all the time through yeah. me because music and comedy don't pay. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> As you guys, I'm sure know. Okay, yeah. right? we do this because we fucking love it. Because yeah. it's definitely not for the money. If right? only yeah. my passion was finances, right. you know? Yeah. That exactly. would be amazing. Exactly. Right. If, only, if only you could get like a nice bank job. Nice yeah. Job. yeah. yeah. You, feel, you would hate your life. If yeah. You did. Uh, yeah. Because it's not for you. For yeah. Other people it is. They get up. That's their purpose. Like, I can't yeah. wait to get up and go to the bank today. Wow. You know what I mean? It's yeah. great. Yeah. But, you know, that's, you know, that's what I want to work for. And people who don't understand the entertainment industry, you know, that, that's what it is. It's like, it's like, oh, no, you're doing comedy or doing music or you're doing movies. Oh, man, why don't you get yourself a real job? You know, that's always actually, about the real job. A real yeah. job is something to me is something that people, someone actually enjoys and, and, exactly. and pay themselves with. That's a real I, job. Yeah. I also, had, like, the people with real jobs, they're coming to see us. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. They're paying you to escape from their miserable lives. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Actually, You're absolutely right. Amazing point. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, there was uh, there was one family member who, uh, who, who I, I I don't even want to call him my family member anymore because he's a piece of shit. Uh, he <laughs> called me and he goes and he goes, hey, you know, uh, you're doing comedy, right? I'm like, yeah. Why don't you stop that? I'm like. What do you mean? He goes, well, you know, like you're embarrassing yourself as you're going on stage and this and that. And I'm like, nah, that's well, the point of comedy. I'm man. like, yeah, but I'm like, oh man, thank God. I'm not, I told him, thank God I'm not seeing you in person. Else I'll beat the living shit out of you. That's one of the yeah, Somebody uh, who's going to take the time out of their day to say yeah, exactly. something like that to you is just, uh, yeah. it's, it's screaming for help. Yeah. Yeah. But, it's sad. Yeah. But yeah. here's the thing, you know, like, like, you know, and then the like, people besides us and obviously people who are watching, you know, do one, do every time, you mentioned stand up comedy or comedy in general, like, oh, did you think of JFL? And you're right. like, oh, okay, so, so you're going to do good. JFL, right? Yeah. I'm, and then I told him, look, if it happens, it happens. I go, oh, well, then why are you doing comedy if you're not going to go on fucking JFL? Because hmm. uh, people like, have no idea how it works. I, they have no idea. They have no idea. Listen, and then I was talking about it with some people. I think I mentioned Victoria as well. Um, by the way, guys, I'm very really passionate about this. Passionate. passionate? You're passionate? Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah no, no. <laughs> it's it's an actual Saint Leonard term. Um, you know, <laughs> like 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 no like. like uh, like people don't understand, like yeah, when they come and see you, with, you know, at a big uh, show, wherever it may be, you know, people don't understand, this, you know, the, the struggles that you've been through. People don't 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 understand the you know, what yeah. you had to go through. They just coming and see you on stage, whether you're playing music or doing stand up, you're doing it for twenty minutes. Yeah. They don't understand, like oh man, you know, the, the, you're saying a joke that probably didn't work before but you're working on it constantly yeah. you're rewarding everything you know people people just when they see you and the, and and i heard a lot of people saying this right if you're not successful at what you're doing they're not going to talk to you but if they see you uh if they see you that you're successful and you're here and there then they're gonna talk to you. like like most of my family members i you know they didn't even talk to me before before i got into films and stand-up comedy now you know, they're like, hey, you want to come to uh, this party? So and so does. I'm like, yeah, I haven't spoken to you in four or five years, but, you know, I guess I'll come. I got nothing better to do. But, you know, it, that's how it is. It's like and 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 that's just, for me, that's like the sad part of being in entertainment. Right. It's like people don't recognize you if you're a struggling artist. 
right? No, people, they don't give a shit. Yeah, people nobody give gives a shit, shit though. Nobody cares. Even nobody you, cares yeah. anyways, bro. Never mind entertainment. You're right about everything. That's yeah. where we know it is in everything. Yeah. Nobody wants to, and I don't mean this because I try to. I've always been somebody who tries to practice not being this way because I fucking hate that people like this. If I ask somebody how they are, and I'm actually I'm genuinely happy for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. If they do, and I try to encourage that. Yeah, and I really try to. You have to exercise that as a person because everyone else, nobody really cares. Okay. Yeah. Nobody really cares how good you did or not because they didn't do that well in it. And they wish they had something they did that well in or with that passion about to actually go for, except they got stuck in their shitty job and did what their mom told them instead. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's no one really cares. And when you learn that, when you actually accept that, you're invincible because all yeah. you, you need is your own validation. In our business, yeah. it's all about validation from everyone else, which is completely backwards and bullshit. Okay. You have to validate how you feel about yourself. You have to feel validated in your material, in your opinions, and you don't need them to laugh or not laugh. And yeah. that's why the people, the comedians who we all love, who seem to not give a fuck, that's why they're on top of their, their, the yeah. world. The Bill that's... Burrs, that guy fucking says anything, right? Yeah. And he's great at it. Sure, there's, I'm sure there's a science to it behind it for him. But in the end, he's saying very controversial stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And it's great stuff. And he's right about all of it, in my opinion. But yeah. still, it's when you learn to not give a fuck, it really is the most liberating, freeing thing ever. And that's hard to do. I'm not saying it's I've mastered that either. You, you need to try to hold that as like the mm. goal for yourself. All that matters is what I think of myself. All yeah. that matters is this. And especially if you're not hurting anybody, you're just, you're just trying to do what makes you happy, man. Yeah. And if most of these people who were talking down to you or whatever did something even remotely that made them happy and gave them purpose in life, they wouldn't be such assholes. <laughs> true. Yeah. It's true. Tr it yeah. is true. Because any, yeah. anytime, even you know you, if you're in a bad mood, you have less patience to be kind to somebody. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We are all guilty of it. Absolutely. But you know that if you make your life about doing things that that bring you joy and that fulfill you in one way or another, then you will be someone who is more kind and more patient with yeah, yourself no, you, and with you, other people. Yeah. I feel like you become more yourself as well. Cuz like of you do. I have yeah. I have super high standards for myself already so mm -hmm. I don't need other people's like expectations. Yeah. Like I can just go with like Good. how much of a perfectionist I am or whatever yeah. and then I can go with that. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. But no, that's exactly. all you, you know like 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 before I got diagnosed with diabetes I I was that guy like oh the don't you like that? That this thing I'm saying I'm good. You know, now I'm like, hey, listen, I am who I am. You don't like me? Go jump out there and slit your throat. You know, I, yeah. I, you you might have to stop saying that. I think. in this day and age, bro, you're gonna cancel before you even speak <laughs> okay, with, by like, saying that shit. And I'm not like, saying that, that that's right that that would happen to you, but also, it's like. It's like how did Clark get cancer? Well, he well he told his fucking idiot to go jump yeah. out a window, and he did. Oh oh, wow. he, he told an entire audience he was bombing, yeah. and uh, oh my yeah. god, it <laughs> wouldn't be your fault if somebody took your horrible advice to do yeah, that. Know. You know, uh, yeah, like it would not I, be your fault. You know, kind of like Alec Baldwin. You know, when he uh, when he shot someone, it wasn't his oh fault. Oh my god. Anyways, oh. Uh, <laughs> but no, but that's thing. Like now, like you know, and 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 now that you know, I'm taking my insulin. Like I'm becoming calmer. And I'm just realizing, hey, you know what? I'm with the successful people. Who are you pointing at? Oh, is, is it me? Oh. Yeah, she's not, are you pointing like, at like your no, mom? or the no, poster? No, I'm, no, the I'm, poster? Doing, I'm doing, I'm doing you. I'm doing you. Yeah. Was, <laughs> so thank you, people. But no, but now, like you know, and now, like I'm with successful people. I'm with successful people, and supporting people, like as you mentioned, no, you have to be in a, you have to be in a group that you know that they want to push themselves, that they want to strive themselves, right? So and that's what I'm doing, you know, and that's what we all need to do in order to become successful. Because I mean, better, you know, because yeah, because successful yeah. is really how happy you are with yourself yeah. yeah it is not if you're fucking a millionaire it's not if you're fucking a millionaire and it's also not if you're a millionaire <laughs> um but uh it's it's just everything you know that to do with you and not to do yeah. with the society's standard exactly because now you know because ah man no it was it was just i don't know I, like what, I what does success look like for you i'm just sorry i'm just curious what sorry. does success look question. like for you guys to be happy and being able to make a living doing something I actually love. So From, like you know, that that's it. Being able to take care of myself and my family 
off of what I love to do. That is the okay. most ideal thing. You know what I'm saying? To be able yeah. to make a living doing what you do that you actually enjoy and love. Yeah. It's very simple, right? Yeah. But it's not simple to achieve. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. But it's a simple ideology and you need to keep it that way because it's something that you you have to constantly push yourself to strive for because the scariest thing in the world for me is to end up doing something that I have to do for the rest of my life that I hate. You know yeah. Like getting stuck in a job because I need this job right now. I need to say, and people got to do that. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with doing what you have to do to get to the yeah. next level. But you, you have to do something and change something down the way mm. to, to evolve from that state. You know what I mean? Yeah. It should be a just for now thing to take on a job that you don't really like or want. Uh, and hopefully you're doing something, you have enough time or make time to, uh, build the real life that you want on the side somewhere. You know what I mean? You yeah. need a good job to support you or even if it's a part-time job, anything, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and that's very, very important because it's hard as a music, as a, an artist in any way to like, you know, our, our egos are always, you know, they're looking out for us, but they're also in the way when, you know, you have to take work that you just, you need the work. It doesn't yeah. mean you're going to be here forever. You don't need to look at it as a setback. You should be yeah. looking at it as a stepping stone. This is what I got to do for now to get mm -hmm. here or back to here or to the next spot. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And because we live on this earth and on this earth, we have to pay for things. We got to pay to yeah. live. Okay. We're yeah. not free by any means. You know what I mean? Yeah, We're no, all exactly. prisoners to how the system works. So you got to find a way to get by that way to be able yeah. to build something you really want. And there's no yeah. shame in that. No, 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 absolutely. No, that's why I have a, I have a crappy part-time job. I mean, I mean, I mean, I have a good, I have a good part-time. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Good. <laughs> and uh, well, it gets us free movie tickets. So yes, yes, it yeah. does. But you know, but you know, but, but then I see other people. Are you at the like, movies? Like, yeah, I'm at the movies. Nice. Yeah. Um, so, you know. Do you like, get like, popcorn? Do you, you get make popcorn? the popcorn? <laughs> you smell like popcorn when you get home. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, anyway, so as I was saying, it's like, uh, like I understand you're having a part-time job and doing what you want to love, but like I have a friend who got, I mean, I have a friend who wants to be in a band, but he has a nine-to-five job and he's married. And I, every time I see him, he's always like wider and he's always like you know much more depressed. I'm like, but why don't you, you know? You want to be in a band. Why don't you, you know, look for a band to be in? Like, why can't this be your your passion, your mm. your, your your hobby? Because, no, you know. And then and then and then I ask this guy, hey, you want to hang out next weekend? He goes, no, I'm tired. I'm gonna be tired next weekend. Like, bro, we're Monday. Like, how are you gonna be tired on Saturday? You know. But but that's the thing. It's like it's like it's like even if people do want to do passion, that's why for me, like when I like when I told myself I want to do comedy and film. I, I told myself, do I want to be like, you know, these, like these Instagram people, like, you know, the show, oh my God, like I'm going on this trip today or, or, or I'm getting married. Meanwhile, I'm on my bed and I'm, and I'm, and I'm meeting like hummus and celery. I'm like, like do I want this or do <laughs> I want to very do healthy yeah, yeah. It is. or, <laughs> or, or do I want to just, you know, do my, like do my stuff. That's why, like, I don't really have a girlfriend because I'm like, I'm like, I know if I have a girlfriend, I'm going to be like, Ah crap! But well, I can't come. I, I can't go do the show because I got family obligations. Or that's why well, you know I'm, I have a boyfriend. Yeah, but we're not talking about you, Victor. He <laughs> drives me to shows and stuff. Yeah, well, that's why. Well, that's why you have a boyfriend. He's very Thank helpful. God. That's yeah. great that you have a supportive boyfriend. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's that's super great. supportive. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. And yeah, that's why all my other relationships. as he should be. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't laugh at any him. of my jokes though. But yeah. He doesn't think you're funny and he still supports no. you. That's love yeah. right there. That's something important. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so you see, yeah. yeah. But you see, if you have if you have someone who's like who's like Claudio or like are you know like uh like is that gig paying you? No, then why are you going to it? I'm like, well, because it's an open mic. Well, you know what, Claudio, you know what, fine, you know, just go your open mic. And then you see, if you have that, then uh, you know, that's not really supportive. Anyways, I can tell you, I can tell you it's very difficult to be dating somebody when you're in the entertainment industry. exactly and it's because exactly. yes most of them have judgments of our field that mm. they do not uh, app consider a, a, an a, uh, something worthy of approval okay yeah and it's hard to do that so it's one thing about you feeling like you can't juggle a girlfriend in the schedule and blah 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 yeah. you shouldn't have to make excuses for what you do this is what you do Exactly. Okay. Yeah. This is the point. And yeah. I've been through it. I'm now I'm, I'm 
recently now and actually in a new relationship and I've never been happier. And it's, and it's, uh, Congrats. thank you. And it's, and it's refreshing. Um, but that's because I'm with somebody who actually, you know, likes me for me, which is how it should be. All yeah. right. And a lot of people immediately are judging you for what you do or what you have done. Now it's important what you do and what you've done, especially if it's something that's that you're passionate about. But the yeah. point is they need to judge you by your, you know, your character and your heart um, mm. and how you are with them, mm -hmm. yeah. you know? Um, and that's the same thing. For, that's how you eradicate uh, trust problems, any jealousy, all that yeah, exactly. bullshit that people exactly. choose to let them, you know, lead their lives instead of the real stuff, like the great stuff. So somebody who is supportive of what you do and is encouraging of you um, is like finding gold, you know? It's, yes, it's just, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, sorry to cut you off. Uh, can you Oh, because I was gonna say yes, you're right, but but in that in, in like in that in your lover's group of friends, I'm not saying I'm saying everyone. There's always that one fucking person, that one. Per sorry, that what? That one that one person that doesn't like you, right? In what? In a relationship. When you have relationships, there's like always that one person, like from, from let's say girlfriend side, right? I, th I think I think Claudio's been in a lot of toxic relationships. If you're like if you're in a relationship and one of the two people in the relationship doesn't like you, then you're not no, in a relationship. No, 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 no. That person's friend. That person's friend. All oh, the friends. Yeah. yeah, the friends are the friends are a different story too. Uh, like they need. Yeah, they do. Like, 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 uh, like, like the first one I went out with. Like, I always had this. Like, she always had this friend who, uh, who was always like judgmental and everything. And I'm like, why are you here on this earth? And why are you here now? Like, just leave me alone, with my girlfriend. Yeah. But uh, anyways, that was. Uh, but that, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like, like, whenever, like, I was talking to someone, right? And things are going really good. We're conversing back and forth. You know, and then like, and then uh, I mentioned to her that I may I do stand up, and then the girl's like, "Oh, well, does it pay?" And I'm like, "Oh, fuck." Yeah, but you uh, shouldn't have to be. Oh, fuck. That's the thing. I know exactly. I yeah. I, I, I know what you're feeling. I I that's literally everything I went through. I've dated forever in in this. I've been single for a long time for the majority of me being in show business. Okay, and it's very hard to find a quality person exactly. who who. Uh, doesn't judge you for or isn't jealous about you being in some sure. sort of spotlight or isn't jealous about the comments mm. or who liked your fucking instagram or That's like true. you know all this yeah. toxic shit you know what i mean they they're all about and and the money unfortunately again yeah look everyone all of us we would love to be making a a great living financially doing what we what we do but because yeah. we it takes more balls and courage and drive and ambition to do the stuff that we do than somebody who went to school for fucking eight years, okay, after after high school and, and still trying to find a job, becoming a doctor, or whatever they got to do. You know what I mean? And good yeah. for them, right? But ask them how many of them are loving what they do. They don't for the most part, okay? Yeah. And they're miserable. You know how many fucking married couples I know who are just, they're like, ah, with life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And because they got <laughs> even in the bedroom, they got well, maybe because they, they've been together forever and they didn't do anything for themselves. You know, a yeah. working relationship, yeah. you're both going to be encouraging each other. You're always going to yeah. make compromises, but you're both going to be encouraging each other to to do uh, to do what makes each other happy, not just for each other, but as themselves. Like, go do what makes you happy, please. We'll find a way to make it work. That should be the first thing. You know, the financials, even though it's a very realistic thing to talk about the financials need to come later and when you're dating man the yeah. financials shouldn't be a fucking uh, no. uh no, such an important situation of course sure. it would help if you were established and you had good money right now every yeah. woman wants to you know offense but all, everyone even a guy they want to know that you're you're yeah. secure but not everybody's secured in different phases of their no, life no, no, you know they're not. They're not. and they shouldn't be judged for that because if you have a connection with somebody they should go on that connection yeah and and until it really doesn't work you know Unless it until it really pulls at their lives, uh, then it shouldn't be a problem for them, especially if they're an independent woman who is making their own money. That's yeah, amazing. That's they're a rock star. Go for it. Why would they? Okay, if you have drive and ambition to do better for yourself, that's important. If you were a fucking yeah. bum and didn't want to get a job anywhere, then you're a bum and she should dump your ass. Okay. Yeah. But the point is, that's very true. If that's you have drive true. and you're trying and it's still failing yeah. here and there, but you're still trying, whatever. But she and they love you enough to still be with you. They should not be threatened by you not making as much money as them because they make their own fucking money. Yeah. So what do you want here? You everybody yeah. wants their fucking cake and eat it too, but you have to like you want something real. You want something with substance. It has to come from a place with substance. No, absolutely. No, you're, no, you're absolutely right. 
Uh, I'm just, I resonate with you because I've been through that. Again, dating came out of a bad relationship for a long time. And I understand even dating, you're going on dates. And the first thing, oh, there seems to be all into you. And it's like, well, I'm in comedy and I was in music before. And uh, yeah, you know, didn't make a lot of money, but I make a lot of people laugh. (laughs) You know what I mean? And it's just, you almost poke fun at yourself and you joke, but uh, you know, you still have jobs. Still, I still make money doing what I do online, but the, if if it's not the, I'm a lawyer or I have a fucking you know my own thriving business and my own yacht and shit, then go fuck yourself. Go party with your twenty year olds and your yachts and your champagne bottles. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, 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 so you start you call me crying at three o'clock in the morning. All right, get the fuck out of here. So it's, there's so <laughs> nice. many so many yeah. stories I have. Yeah, there are, okay? yeah, so I get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it, no, you're absolutely right. No, because you know what. That's that's where it was. Like uh, recently, like I went on a, I met again. I met someone, and and and, and then I could just see that the bewilderment that they were turned off, <laughs> and I'm like, ah, well. And then she goes, yeah, no, maybe I should go. And in my head, I'm like, yeah, no, maybe I should go fuck myself. How about that? That'll be that'll be, uh, you know, that'll be good. <laughs> at least, least you'll be getting laid at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm like, oh, oh, but I see. I, I see. I, I see. I see. If this is uh, hurting you because you're drinking what alcohol? What do you? What do you? What are you drinking there? Yeah, man? it's good old fashioned alcoholic water. Oh, okay, <laughs> water, ladies and gentlemen. You know. Oh, I sorry. Yeah, this is a wine bottle, but it's full of water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I swear to God, I, I'm not a big drinker. <laughs> sure. Can you imagine I'm getting sloshed this whole time? No, it's, just, it's, it's literally just fucking water. Look, see. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. yeah it's it's yeah. vodka. All right, this is vodka. <laughs> Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, I got sloshed when we did a pocket when we did uh, an episode of 34. Oh, I, I, it happened to me once before I got diagnosed. I got sloshed. Please don't do that again. Please. I can't get drunk. Oh man. The quality goes down when you do that. You need listen, to be listen, sharp. Listen, you need no, to be listen. Sharp. Listen, sharp. the quality goes, listen, the quality goes up, Victoria. Okay. Just because I got drunk once. And admitting it to, yeah. you know, when we're live now, it was mm-hmm. a pretty good fucking show. This yeah, man, it was a good show for you. Yeah, Claudio had a lot of fun. Yeah, the quality <laughs> for you was great. I'll never forget. I'll, I'll never forget. Uh, I did a show with Massimo. It was on my 28th yeah. or 29th birthday. It was myself uh, and a few other local comedians. I think Joe Lorente was there also. But um, Massimo is like, comes up and goes, he comes with a six pack of beer. He goes, Hey, you want some? All right. So I drank two of them. So I just, because I was, when I was nervous, I was chugging them really quickly. And then it was open bars, so then uh, people that uh, I was with friends that were getting me drinks, because it was because it was one, one uh, se- my second biggest show that I've done. It was about a hundred people, wow. so oh, I'm wow. doing that. And then Massimo is giving me drinks. I go on. I'm about to go on stage, and I'm like, "What the fuck are my jokes?" And then the host is like, "It's Claudio's birthday." I'm like, so I go on stage. I'm trying, and, and there's like two steps going on stage. I'm trying. I'm trying no. really calm to like not miss. I go on stage and I'm like, I'm really calm. I'm taking the mic, and I'm like, and I do a little, a little burp. People find it funny. I'm like, all right. I'm like, oh. then I, and then I just, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so I go into my routine. I, I, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, how the fuck am I doing this? I get a big laugh. And, I, and then uh, I put my um, my uh, you know, my hand away from from my from, from my mouth. Like, how the fuck am I doing this? Like, I'm I'm pretty drunk right now. And then people just burst out laughing. The producers just like, oh fuck. Yeah. And then after that, then after that, someone hands me a drink, and I'm then I'm drinking it. And then and then and then I'm like, oh, I have to go. I missed a step. I didn't fall, but I was about to fall. And then one sings happy birthday. And that was uh, then after I parent, I just I messaged Mass. I called Mass and, all, um, and a few friends. I'm like, "Hey guys, I love you," and I kept saying that. Okay. Ah uh, man, that was that was that was, that was, that was all that right. Was, all right. Was, was, When's your birthday? <laughs> March 29th. Nice. Happy yeah. belated birthday. Ah, uh, no problem. Uh, thank you, Paul. Thank you. When's How your about- birthday, Victoria? Yeah, hey, Victoria. When's uh, your birthday? August 21st. Nice. That is not when my birthday is. When's when, your birthday? When's your birthday, oh, Paul? July 30th. July 30th. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, now we know. Exactly. Now we no know. Exactly. Are you a Leo? I am. I'm a Leo. Yeah. We're both Leos. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Okay. We is. Oh, fuck. Two Leos in the room. All right. Ah, look, I got to go, folks. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's okay. We'll talk. It's okay. Uh, oh, man. But uh, all right. That's cool. Now we know each other's birthdays and we got a little personal <laughs> with our, with our meeting <laughs> stories. Um, mm-hmm. All right. So now, you know, uh, so 
who are your t- let's go into acting oh. now so like who are your top five actors i don't know that's that's such a hard question altogether excluding I love present company present company excluded. right okay including present company uh i absolutely love ryan reynolds he's one of my favorites around right now uh, did you see free been- guy yeah i love free guy it was so Great. good that yeah, was amazing watch, did you watch red notice i did yeah it was good I didn't yeah, think it was anything special, yeah, I know. It was, but it was, uh, it was, but it was good. I, I still enjoyed it. It was very enjoyable. He, he's my favorite uh, part of anything. Yeah. So he's like one of my favorites. I love Johnny Depp uh, and everything that he does and the way he is. Um, and uh, I love, uh, you know, just the classics that they're too many in top five is great. Like Robin Williams was hands down one of my favorites ever. Jim yeah. Carrey, Mike mm-hmm. Myers. But then yeah. you, you can, you're going to talk about, you want to talk comedy guys. You want to talk, uh, uh, you know, serious, you know, because I love the De Niro's and I love, I love Leonardo DiCaprio. I love, uh, uh, fucking, I don't know. There's so many, so many. I appreciate great acting is what I okay. appreciate. I yeah. enjoy Tom Cruise as well. Yeah. Um, Will Smith. Amazing as well. How about you guys? Victor, go ahead. What? I didn't think we, I was doing this. You go ahead. Why can't you do it? Yeah, it's just what can't you do? No, I can't think of people like that. You're right now. Like, me a question I can't think of, and that's fucking, it. Yeah, that's what happens when you're a fucking vegan. I'm sorry, people. So uh, uh, lately, I've really been liking Kristen Stewart's stuff. Okay. I think that she redeemed herself after yeah, Twilight. Uh, yeah, With true. what? With like like um what was i watching the other day <laughs> it's a really bad movie but she did a really good job in charlie's angel oh i haven't seen it i, I did want to see it but i i heard it wasn't that great it, but i, I it wanted- wasn't that great but she did a really good yeah. job acting american ultra was good um or just oh. where's claudio yeah, I tried. I tried. I tried to leave because I'm like, I can't believe you're saying that movie is really. But she's good. Go ahead. I like. Uh, I like Kate Blanchett. Yeah, Kate um, Blanchett. Yeah. I'm excited to see uh, P- Patterson as a Batman. Rob, Rob Patterson is gonna yeah. be amazing as Batman. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I really think amazing. he's gonna. He's gonna. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna do a good job. Yeah. I put, plus, I heard it was based on like the. Batman the animated series from the 90s. It's yeah. uh it's got elements of that in it. I'm a huge uh superhero nerd so I can answer any of your fucking questions. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's it's got elements of that um like with the blimps in the air and stuff like that, but it it takes place in year 2 of him being Batman. Mm. So it's like he's just 2 years into being into that, you know, and he's very full of it's it's about his vengeance, his uh, his rage. He hasn't learned to control that kind of stuff yet. So oh, okay. and it's going to be like a three like a trilogy movie and they're going to be yeah. bringing in the the Robins, all the other, you know, as you see is Catwoman and Penguin and stuff is in there. We're going to find out who the Joker is and uh uh but like it's going to be very well done cuz it's going to be the darkest Batman they've ever done and that's going to surpass Nolan's uh which is amazing uh with Christian Bale. So so it's like going to be like very dark and very film noir, you know? So yeah. yeah. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. And Who's I love Kevin villain? Costner too by the way. I forgot to say that. Amazing presence that guy. Oh, Kevin Costner. Okay. Been watching Yellowstone a lot, so it's been like nice. a, a huge thing. Um Nice. Nice. But that's great that you that you love that too because I think Patterson is going to be great. Yeah, 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 Patterson. Yeah, yeah, so. Patterson. Yeah, no, I at first when I saw, I was like, "Who's this doofus? Is gonna be Batman?" And I'm like, "Oh shit, okay, yeah, all right, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. It's gonna be a long three hour film. It's gonna be really good." You know, I think I think he's underrated because people don't recognize him in movies. Yeah, exactly. Because he's such a good actor. He's good. That people. That's the same yeah, thing as we were exactly. talking about before. Yeah, people love to hate yeah. what they don't know, right? Yeah, exactly. oh, they, let's give him a shot, you know, and see. You know, they, they didn't cast him for no reason. You know, they, it's a big director behind it. You know what I mean? It's yeah, not like. There's a lot of money involved. <laughs> yeah, and it's no. like you know, it's it's a it's the Batman friend. They cannot afford to ruin the Batman franchise again, yeah. you know. And they haven't. Like I, I love Ben Affleck's Batman as well. I love Zack Snyder stuff, and I love uh, Bale, and I love Michael Keaton. And the new Flash movie is going to be incredible. With the uh, Flash, yeah, the new Flash movie is bringing in Michael Keaton's Batman with Batman with Ben Affleck's Batman because it deals with the multiverse. So just like what Marvel is doing with the multiverse yeah. and, and yeah, yeah. yeah. The different oh, universes. Oh, so that's so It's gonna cool. be amazing to, to how they merge the the uh, yeah. the actors, just like what they're doing with Spider Man. Spider Man yeah. is coming out too, and, and uh, they'll be merging like Toby Toby McGuire, Andrew Garfield, and 
all is the that, uh, is that true though is that yes. true because 100 uh, all right all right, the, all right. The, the the new trailer comes out tomorrow you'll see they're gonna show a little all right teaser I, of the three. yeah no yeah yeah no 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 you know what's gonna happen oh yeah we're gonna put three bad and then after the credits you see them for another film watch this is gonna be a cash yeah they're rap. gonna set up another film for sure but this they're they're fighting all of the villains from the toby toby and andrew universe yeah. Right. So they're already bringing. You're not gonna bring in just the bad guys and not deal with the three Spider-Man. Yeah, Everybody, no, this no is the hype they've built around it. They, they, yeah. Marvel's not gonna let you down there, bro. They they've been doing uh, everything mm. right. Oh, they let me down, Shang Chi. I like that too. That movie. Ah, was okay. What <laughs> movie? Shang Chi, the Legend of the Ten Rings. What is that? Nerd the, stuff. Yeah, nerd stuff. Uh, Victoria, nerd. I'm a nerd. I'm no, a nerd not. too. You're not nerdy enough. You don't yeah, know what that yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you don't know it's what a, uh, Ching, I mean Shang Chi is. Yeah, that, yeah. that uh, Asian actor from Toronto is the star of it. He was on uh, yeah, Kim's Convenience. Kim's Convenience, yes. Yeah, I, you know, like, 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 I didn't mind him, but um, I'm like, I saw that movie, and I'm like, some, like, him and Aquafina had to mute some parts. I'm like, oh, thank God. The fighting's amazing, though. The, the fighting is terrible. really good. The yeah, action's my, amazing. Yeah, my my uh, my favorite fighting scene is uh, is uh, when they're in the tower. And, uh, before yeah, the tower is great. I like the bus scene too. The bus was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, that was great. I, I was just, I was not a fan of the uh, of the of the last fight scene. Yeah, yeah. It's, it goes yeah. mystical, but it, yeah, it is what it is. But you know, like it was. I didn't. I like that they brought in the abomination from um, Captain uh, from the Incredible Hulk. Is that what it was? That's oh, what yeah, it was. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, ah, oh. and then I see him like, ah. Yeah, it's all it's all connected. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is connected. And then, Amazing uh, how they do that. Very hard to do that. And they make yeah, exactly. It so exactly. You know, I, I just wasn't a fan of Captain Marvel. Uh, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, Brie Larson. The movie's not that great, but she, her character is great because she is considered the most powerful. Uh, but yeah. in the end, it's like, uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, there's enough other stuff. And the next Captain Marvel is going to introduce another big uh, franchise yeah. character. Soon, yeah, so. yeah, they should, they should, they should. Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, Teeks is like, oh, Claudio, did you like the new Carnage movie? Uh, Venom, uh, did you see did it, you? Paul? I did, I yeah. saw it. I saw it. Uh, <clears throat> what are your opinions, opinions on it, Paul? Is I love Tom Hardy, and I, I, I thought it was way better than the first one, but I thought it was quick and, and to the point, and uh, I enjoyed it. It's nothing, it's not a special movie. It was good. Exactly. But the, the ending scene, I don't want to ruin it for you if you've seen it, but there's a scene, it's, we will see that Venom merge in with tom holland spider-man and it will be yeah. amazing how they yeah. do that so that's I, why it, yeah the um, carnage was good it was good i like ray harrelson too but it wasn't yeah. the best movie but no like, uh before i saw it i read that they cut the movie uh, for 90 minutes yeah uh, so that's what bothered me I'm like oh shit i saw it and the fact that that because for me like I, not like when i go see a movie i have to say like and 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 this is gonna sound pretty weird but I actually read up on the running time because in my head I'm like, oh, okay. So let's say, for example, yeah, you know, you know, you're doing a movie and you have, and you have like three hours of running time. Like, oh, you know, I'm curious, like how to condense the story to three yeah, hours. They're right? gonna have time to let it unfold. Exactly. Yeah. But then when they said it was 91 minutes, I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, they cut this. it right down. They did, and and then and then I'm like, and then and then I noticed because I'm like, because because the because the editing geek nerd inside me, I'm like, oh no way, like I like I kind of felt where they cut it out. Um, so then, you know, and I saw it, I'm like, it was, it was a fun, it was a fun movie. I enjoyed, you know, I obviously at points was, was way too much forced comedy in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I, and then didn't give carnage enough time. Yeah. I don't really care about the carnage. They, 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 that's just a character that was great in the cartoons and it's cool to see them fight. And that's great. Yeah, exactly. You'll see them again. They'll, they'll bring it back in because the venom verse is going to be a very big deal, especially when they, they'll cross venom over with the Spider-Man stuff, but then they'll cross Spider-Man over with the venom stuff. If you understand, because it's its own. So it'll be very exciting to see how they do that. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. So, yeah. So Teeks to answer your question, eh, it was, it was enjoyable. It was, it was fun. It felt forced sometimes, but it was it was it was it was a fun popcorn movie. And sometimes like, oh dear God. But yeah, it was fun. It was a it was a really fun movie. You know. That's it. Yeah. And he said <laughs> that's it. Any that's other it. Se- any other seasons, TV seasons you guys are watching? Any shows? Uh I'm I'm I want to get into Squid Game. Oh yeah. I, I, oh, I haven't it. seen it's the Squid decent. Game. No, I I've only I've only saw parts of it. Mm-hmm. It's it's good. It's a little annoying how yeah. like uh, on the internet, 
everybody's like, oh my God, I can't believe that character died. And it's like, that's the point of the series, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That they all sort of, only one yeah. person makes it, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And everybody's yeah. like, oh my God, this, I, can't, I can't believe when they shot him, I was crying. I'm like, you weren't prepared for this eventuality. You know, it's, it's just so weird. Are there shootout um, scenes? Are there, are there like uh, shootout sequences? That's how they die. They get they get shot. All oh, right. Wait, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cheap shot. Well, there's no like shootout. It's not like no one's shooting back. I don't I don't think there is a, sh a shootout scene. Maybe once. You see, but... you see, they should do season two. You know, and and you know, I want to be in season two, uh, too, and I want to, and then I'm gonna add explosions. And there's gonna be a season two. There's gonna be a season. Yeah, but it's gonna be. Uh, hold on, season two. Is it gonna be like you know, whitewash season two? Is it gonna be season one, uh, two from that continuation? Good question. Because if you do season two, it's gonna be a whole different ball game, and and it's probably gonna be like Spyro, which I cried. Spiral? Yeah, yeah, it was it was it was it was a Jusla <clears throat> movie. I'm like, this is garbage. This is pure. Like 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 I like I went to the bathroom three times. Nice. That's how entertained I was. Because you had to pee? No, no, it's because it's because I was not entertained so by spiral. God what is it. spiral? I don't know what that is. Uh, spiral is a new it's, it's like a new book of saw. It's like uh, it's like the new saw. Oh, oh so, yeah, it's part of the saw franchise. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so jigsaw, they explained everything. So saw so it's one of those movies like well, Jigsaw uh, uh, inspired me, and now I'm here we go, copycat stuff. My, yeah, and I was seeing this. I'm like, ah, yeah. it, it, was, it had Chris Rock in it, and it was filmed in Toronto. Chris and Rock like, was in this. Yeah, Chris Rock was in it, and I, and I think he was a. He, oh, it's a series. No, 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 no. It was an actual oh. movie. Okay, that, that, that was actually one of the first films that opened uh, that came to theaters oh. when, when the cinemas opened. Yeah, That's yeah, it. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, and, and then I saw it. I'm like, I was the only one in the movie theater. Chris like, Rock was in a horror film. Yeah, but this was really was not. They they meant to, they meant it to be a horror movie, but I'm like, this is not horror. This is yeah. This is like I don't know. It's like someone who doesn't understand horror movies, <clears throat> Rob Zombie, and uh, and they make it into a horror. He's the master movie. of horror stuff. No, what the fuck are you not, talking about? No, 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 no he, not Halloween. Did you see? No, no, he ooh. he, he ruined. He he ruined Halloween one and two. I'm putting it out there. All right. I don't. I he, haven't seen it all to speak, so I don't know. Uh, he he ruined Halloween one and two. It's like it's like he took a book on how to not do horror movies and he fucking <laughs> added things in there. That's funny. Because this is a horror movie. Who like, like like the whole mystery of Michael Myers is is he possessed or is he a psychopath? Right. Yeah. But in but in or is he uh, or is he a ghost? Is exactly. he a fucking yeah? But in zombies world. He explains. That, yeah. I'm like, why? What does he explain? Uh, just that, tell me. He is a kill. He is a psychopath who just who likes to kill. Well, oh, how did he survive then? How does he survive? That's or is he like, is it a reboot? Is it a reboot? Is it like, did he start uh, from scratch with Mike Myers? Like, it was yeah, the first yeah, movie? yeah, he's like yeah, a super yeah, villain or yeah, something. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he, yeah, he. he because he, he gets killed in every movie, and then he comes back. Like yeah, he's but this one, no, but this human. one, yeah, no, this one was just like in Halloween, like, like he wants to reboot Halloween one and two. And then John Carpenter is like, no, because they were going to make a third one. I know, and then, and then they John, redid it properly with Jamie. Yeah, first. I'm like, yeah. thank God, you know, because yeah. I saw the second Halloween in theaters, and I'm like, man, this spoiled Michael Myers. Yeah. Is that the one where they say there was the highest body count? No. For the Halloween, I heard no, like no, the no. one that came out, it was like 126 of the no, characters no, got no, killed on had, screen. No, no, it had 100. Actually, it had 121, and 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 the one that came out last year had about 95 body counts. Oh, okay. Yeah, but 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 this one they complained because you know uh, uh, Michael Myers was killing people, and they said that the and, re and reporters were like, well, you know, Michael Myers, uh, this is a bad film because Michael Myers kills people. What? Well, they yeah. said that he, it's not because he kills people. It's because he didn't kill a gay couple. Something like that. It's you, something like that. I are you God. Maybe because what? he's gay. It's he something like that. It's something. It's some bullshit little thing that's that has nothing to do with gay people or not gay people. It has nothing to do with not in support of that community or not. It's a horror movie that a, a killer is killing two people. I thought. What is the you thing? Know what, you know what I'm saying? You know it's what? just. Yeah. Everyone's a little one of one of the uh, one of the uh, biggest uh, thing that saw I saw in the article is like he killed uh, he bashed a firefighters because the, the opening you know oh, firefighters yeah. go to a burning house and they see Michael Myers people were complaining that that scene was too violent 
I'm like, but you said they cut down that scene. No, no. I'm saying Venom, they cut out scenes. This oh, one. Oh, yeah. This yeah, one. And this one, like, they kept it. Yeah, I'm like, but it's a horror movie. It's like having John yeah. Wick killing too yeah, many. You're going to see a horror movie. That's, but that's. You're not going to see like the guy just killing people you don't like. That, exactly. that is the problem with these, <laughs> with these fucking people, the society. Yeah, and yeah. when I say these people, I mean anybody of any race, gender, or whatever, okay, that, that chooses to be offended. By yeah. all of these ridiculous things, okay? Yeah. It's one thing when somebody is insulting you to your face about who you are and the type of yeah. whatever. It's another to be so sensitive that you're literally choosing to be offended by anything that is something that you disagree with, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, in context, if these people were capable of watching something in context, which they are not, you're going to see a fucking horror movie, Yeah. okay? Yeah. Yeah. And you're offended that one of your kind wasn't killed by Michael Myers, what the fuck kind of what twilight zone are we living in? Okay, and the world's more fucked up for that. Or, or hold on, that or, reason, but. Oh yeah, or or just imagine, right? A, a, like a black couple, Michael Myers didn't kill a black couple. Imagine how that was. I'm like, but okay, it doesn't matter. But but in comedies like scary movie, it's usually the black people get killed first, as they say, yeah. you know, in these movies, right? Yeah. yeah. Why aren't they the heroes? Make somebody, and they've made great movies like that as well. Mm -hmm. I love Jordan Peele stuff of. Uh, um, us. What's it called, man? Uh, us, us, out. and us and the one before that. Get though, out. One, get out. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Beautiful. Right? Am I offended that there weren't any Italians in in the movie? Yeah, listen, no. Okay. Listen. Listen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That, that's, is, that's, no, there weren't any Italians in the movie. Who gives no. a what shit? the hell? <laughs> what what the hell? hell? Actually, actually, you know, I can't take the movie Us seriously. I'm oh, sorry. The voice. Yeah, I'm sorry. If if there's someone who looks like one of us coming up to us with a knife, going, I'm like, my, I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna burst out. I know, but I, again, that's suspension of disbelief. That's you just gotta watch it for what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's like I, I, saying I that's like going to watch a a movie about Spider Man and being upset that he crawled the wall in a way you didn't like. Okay, you're you going see, to watch a movie see, about a Spider Man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's it, nitpicking. Yeah, you're right. That's nitpicking. nitpicking. But but when people are offended. By who has been murdered or not? Yeah, in a movie. No, that's that's, that's come on. That, also, that's if you want to be included in a horror, like if you want gay people to be included in a horror movie, they're gonna get killed or they're gonna be the killer. Your choice. Like it's, if you want to yes. be represented, that's what's yes. gonna happen. So Look, in the end, it's like uh, how do you, how are you how do you how do you deal with your with yourself in society? Yeah. And that's yeah. the sense everyone is gonna everything that you say. Mm -hmm it's offensive to somebody and it's not yeah. even when you're trying to be polite or politically correct or what's not i'm not yeah. saying that it's not uh right to obviously treat people with respect and how they whatever but there's also a line okay there's yeah. a there's a line of things um and uh i'd rather not get into that either because i don't want to uh, it's ahead. just it's, it's just the truth is the truth is that it, you, you know it's 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 silly that a movie can't be a movie anymore exactly it's silly yeah, that, yeah. that when writing a show you have to involve every aspect yeah. of the community why what if the story is just about all black people what yeah, if the story yeah. is just about all italians okay yeah. what if it's just yeah. about all asians it it doesn't need to have all of you know everything in it all the yeah, time and now exactly. you can't even get a show picked up unless you have a representation of yeah. every of every one of these cultures yeah. why if the story yeah, needs to call for that yeah. superman yeah. And, and you know what they want to make it superman is not is is a, is a white character okay and it he is he's the symbol of uh, whatever he is, his hope. It's not because he's a white guy, but he's also Superman. OK, yeah. you want to make a different because uh, 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 people are upset if, you know, Superman, why can't they make a black Superman? or whatever? It's like that's it's not a matter of of why, you know, of a, of a disservice or a disrespect to another race. It's a character that somebody made up. Yeah. In a light they wanted to make. If you want to yeah. create a character that's like Superman, that is black. Amazing. Start that one. That makes yeah. more sense. That's something I want to buy into. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Bruce or, Wayne is not black. Yeah. Bruce Wayne is not Chinese. Bruce Wayne is not Italian. Okay? Bruce Wayne is the white guy that he is, and that's why the story works. Yeah. So Yeah, that's true, story, too, because, because, first of all, uh, Superman was made, like, what, like, in the 50s or something? So, yeah, like, 30s, yeah, they made a white guy. guy. And, then, and then Bruce Wayne is supposed to be the top of the elite, He's a white guy. Like, why would he be anyone else? It's you not know? Believe, right. It wouldn't be believable anyway. But it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that there can't be 
uh, yeah. different races and in, yeah. in, in, in characters by all any they have they have black uh, superheroes and Asian superheroes yeah. and I yeah. love that I love that they're bringing that to light that's amazing I want to buy into their story I don't want you yeah. to to sell me an Asian guy as Batman I don't believe that story that yeah. is not Batman right that long. but I do yeah. be believe <laughs> but I do believe that you know like the Shang the Shang what's it called the Shang Shang Chi, Hai, Shang -Chi. Shang -Chi. Uh, amazing story I don't know anything about this guy I want to learn about him. I believe yeah. in him. I believe in his powers. I get it. I love it. I wouldn't want it to see an Italian guy, a white guy, or a black guy play that character because it should be what it mm. is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And people are choosing to be offended by these certain things. You know that us Italians are the only ones that that uh, that have stereotypes left, right, and center yeah. center mm. about being cold blooded murderers. Yeah. And we don't say shit. No, yeah. we don't. Okay. No, Nobody uh, don't see an Italian complaining that they weren't no. represented or that they were that we people think that we eat spaghetti and meatballs all the time, this and whatever. But every other culture is upset when somebody does an impression of them. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's true. Yeah. No but, one, but, if, oh, yeah, you're right. Like for example, funny. everyone's a hypocrite. Everyone's, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, you see, for example, when the many scenes in Newark came out, right? Um, people were upset that you know Silvio and Polly uh, they, they looked like uh, they were offended because they were they were like way out of line with those characters. A, I haven't seen it, so uh, yeah. A they look like SNL sketches, which is hilarious. And B, that's you know what? That's that's what it is. Yeah, I know they're over the top. Yeah, they can be, but you know what? It is what it is. Like when you're watching, as you mentioned, if I'm watching like the Irishman or any Scorsese picture, yeah, you know what? I find it's awesome. Am I gonna be like, oh yo, how dare you? Oh, they make fun of us Italians and all. It's entertainment, you know. Yeah. Uh, and also, well, you know, another thing that I want to bring up is, you know, like how today I find today in the film world, they try too hard to, to, to include everyone, right? Yeah. They don't have this a story about, you know, Paul has to save the world, blah, blah, blah. But you know, the question's like, all right, so, so, you know, it's Paul leading the X-Men. Okay. we got to have like a gender. We got to have, you know, make yeah. sure they're bi, make sure this, yeah. whatever happened to a, all right, so this character could be a male or female trying to save the world. Like, for example, this is why I always give a perfect example, like aliens, right? Aliens, yeah. yeah. So Gourney Weaver, is, uh, obviously, she plays a female character. Cool. And she's kicking ass. And she's saying, yeah. they're not rubbing it in yeah. our faces going, no. she's a woman. She's right. got to do. Which is what the way, the way Marvel the... does. It's what all these other fucking. Yeah. Shows. I know. Yeah. I know exactly. It's because the, the way Alien was written is because when they wrote it, none of the characters had any genders assigned to them. So they just picked like the actors they thought were good, but it wasn't big. like it was like the when they did the auditions, it must have been just like men or women or whatever. You can come in and audition for this role. Well, they built, they wrote it for her. I'm pretty sure they yeah, they yeah, had her come in, and they the the, the lead was like always supposed to be yeah. a girl, I think, and she had the you know the way she yeah. looks and the bone structure and everything. Like she had a, a very significant mm. look. Like they they gave it yeah. to her for a reason, right? But yeah. yeah, there's no there's no problem with with incorporating cultures. Yeah. But it's got to be done in a way that, like you said, it's not shoved down your throat. It's like yeah. it's not insulting. It's not like you know insulting to the character that you're watching. It it cannot create more disbelief. You well, it's saying? condescending at some point. And it's, it's condescending, like, yeah. And yeah. it's yeah. <clears throat> like uh, in, now in the comics. Did you see this? The newest. The now Superman is bisexual. Why? Mm. Why? I like that. Why? I like it. Yeah, but he's not, know. though. Okay, you can create another character who has powers yeah. like Superman, yeah. who, who is yeah. gay as fuck. Okay, yeah. and yeah. gets it on, and he's a tranny at night. Go, amazing. Do yeah. it. I want to see it. I want to read it. S Superman is Superman for a fucking reason. Yeah. Okay, see, it is him and Lois Lane. If you and no yeah. matter what you tell the story, it's him and Lois Lane or him and Wonder Woman or whatever it is. There's that story to be told. Now they're trying to tell new stories. I get it, but create a new character. See okay? the same thing. The same thing with 007, right? Because. The 007 right. universe is so big. Why do you have to reboot James Bond? Right? There's well, so you always many... have to reboot James Bond. But what yeah, you're but... saying there is like James Bond cannot be a woman. It's yeah, James exactly. Bond. Exactly. Yeah. But Create... but he but he but 007 can be a woman because she is a woman not... in the new one. Exactly. Because but... I was gonna say it's not the same thing as Bruce Wayne, because Bruce Wayne is Bruce Wayne, but the, the special agent or what he they could nope. be any anyone. Yeah, yes, but that's the but point. James Bond. Is the reason that 007 is is a thing? Yeah. It's yeah. about James Bond. It's not about Jamie Bond. But that's his his okay? real name is James Bond. Yes. 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 yes James yes. Bond. The Bond films. That's what made it popular. Yeah. It's not not 007 didn't make it popular. James Bond made the yeah. number 007. But I'm saying yeah. Exactly. No, that's yeah. So in the new movie, 
they do give a, a double the 007 name to a black woman who's playing yeah. it. She, she does yeah. a great job, but they they you have to see it. I don't want to ruin the movie because it's amazing. It's very it excellently is. done. Um, James Bond, the the story is about him. Yeah, there have been many exactly. other great stories told with women in the James Bond. Uh, style thing like Charlize Theron and fucking you know all these uh, other women who are kicking ass rightfully so in those moments because the movie was made for them in that context but when you try to sell people on well let's make James Bond a woman why because it's politically correct no it's the story this the story is what it is okay a woman can kick ass and everything else create a story about her I want to see that I want to support that this you're not going to make me believe that a woman now is James Bond. Yeah, okay? you see, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and not. Yeah. You're, you're not right. going to change it to that. It's you're not right. about and Jamie Bond. It's not about the you know the Julia Bond. It's not about that. I know right? you're right. And going back to what I'm saying, I'm like, listen, you want to make a, look, you want to make a a, a a female story about about you no, know, just like James Bond. That's it. So you know, and in my head, in my mind, I'm like, oh, you know, double because the double O is a such yeah. a big universe. Why? Because here's the thing. What I'm trying to say is, okay, you know what? Enough with the double O sevens. That's that's cool for what it's been. Great. But you want to do a re like a reboot? Do a reboot about the other double O's. You know, yeah, but make nobody it... gives a shit about that because it's only about him. Yeah, exactly. But you know, it's should... only. But they make. But but what you're saying, bro? They've made all kinds of movies about that. They just don't call them double O's. Look at Mission Impossible. I love those uh, movies. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, yeah. he's James Bond. Tom Cruise is James Bond in, in, in as yeah. Ethan Hunt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And sure. and and if they want to make James Bond's daughter take up his mantle, that's another beautiful story of. Yeah. She's in the Bond lineage. And maybe mm. she'll be even better than her father. That's a cool story. That's a cool spin. But James yeah. Bond himself, the story of 007, is about this particular man. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay? Yeah, I don't even mind if he's if he's black, like they're talking about Idris Elba. That's amazing. Okay, yeah, he's yeah. a great actor, and I could see him. Whoever has the swag of James Bond should be James Bond. You know? Yeah. You're not gonna you know, see that Italian guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe. They're talking about Henry Henry Cavill, Tom Hardy, Idris Elba. We don't know yet. They might pick another complete, you know, because Daniel Craig, they closed it beautifully. Now, yeah. in the end, it's like... Henry Cavill's too is, handsome. He was supposed to be the Bond in uh, in this Bond. in uh, yeah. as He was supposed to get Daniel Craig's job, but he was too young at the time. They liked him. They uh. liked his look, but he was too young. Um, and uh, anyways, I know all this yeah. unnecessary... Stuff. No, no, yeah, Idr- Idris Elba would be amazing because he's already right. got the he's got everything. The swag, okay, he's got you know, it, he's, a, yeah. he's a, you know, a good-looking. He's a people. Women love him. You know what I mean? He's a, you know, and and so do men, right? The point yeah. is that it's not about, and doesn't need to always be made about the race and the culture yeah, no, exactly. and 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 the fucking politically correctness. Okay, mm-hmm. why why is it such a bad thing that Superman is Superman and Batman is Batman for fuck's sakes? You know what I'm saying? Why yeah. is it such a bad thing that I still consider myself a guy and you a woman okay they, they've made they've made they've made men and women bad words they've made calling people he or she bad fucking words because how dare i didn't ask what what this person uh, identifies as it's gone way too far in every fucking measure of the line all right everyone's been too sensitive it's yeah. one thing if i ask you if you wouldn't mind, please call me she because I identify as a woman. Yeah. And then and you're in this infor- in this interview, and then you blatantly yeah. uh, refuse to call me that. And and now you you are being rude. Now yeah, it's yeah, disrespectful. Yeah. yeah. But if you see me, all right, yeah. clearly a man. Clearly yeah. looks like a man, clearly beard, everything. Uh, and and like presenting I, I as a man. Offend- if I was offended yeah. that you called me he, even though I look yeah. like a he and I know I look like a he. Uh, then that would be absolutely outrageous, and that's what these people are doing. What, what some of these people? I are mean, doing. yeah, because oh. I was just gonna say, like, d- those are like the radical. Super. Because radical. I have a lot of trans friends, and it's it's happened that I've misgendered Amazing. them, and like they don't, they don't like come after me, and I'm like, excuse me, because that's not my not- pronouns. Because like they, they exactly because they're not. They're comfortable. They're living with themselves. it. They're living they're li- it. Yeah. They're comfortable with themselves. They're choosing not to be offended by you because you know they know that you did not mean it with ill will. Yeah. Yeah. And what these people are trying to explain is that everyone in society, it's yeah. ill will. If you got how dare you not refer to me as a fucking lion because I identify as a lion. But okay? honestly, like the far right and the far left, they're the same. 
I know they're the same, and the, you need to it's find a good same. balance somewhere in the middle. But it, in the end, it's it's becoming very hard because it really. Yeah. Uh, yeah no, so that's so because like in in Quebec we have the opposite problem like in the newspaper and stuff like I, I don't know if you guys read like french articles and whatnot but it's well. like complaining that there's even a trans person on screen complaining that uh women are showing their body too much complaining that women with hijab shouldn't be allowed to have jobs wow. yeah. so they're stuck, they're stuck in the fucking 1800s yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah exactly it's the, the opposite the, yeah. yeah this is what basically our provinces is we're, 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 we're stuck in the 1800s and we have a Man. dinosaur of a premier uh who's just like uh i hate that guy yeah, me too. And uh, he, he, every time I see him, like I want to piss on his face. Um, but Ew. He just, he, no, no. I mean, how no, is that an impulse that you no, have? No, no, because I want to punch <laughs> him in the face. I want to punch him, and then I want to. Oh yeah, him. I heard piss. No, I Did you? See, that's what I heard too. I heard ah, piss. Okay. But wow, well, you see that artist piss on a fan's face the other day? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm like, this guy is my fucking idol. <laughs> no, not really, not really. But no, it was, but a, it was a girl. It was a woman artist that pissed on a guy's fan's face. I know. That's yeah. even more impressing. Like, yeah, how did she get it up that high? I don't know. Get it up that high. She put him below her, under between her legs. Yeah. Oh, this is an actual thing. You're yeah. not doing a bit that kidding. happened. No, 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 no. This is not a bit. <laughs> no, it's actually... I don't remember what the band is called. It's a, it's a cover band, and I think it's a black woman. It's a black woman, light skinned yeah. black woman. Okay, she's really beautiful, great voice, and she, on stage, there's footage of it. She pulls a a man fan on on stage, and she she hovers over him while she's singing, and she. Pulls her pants down and she pisses all over him in front not of everybody. The, not wow. full scream. Yeah, not like the a cum. Yeah, no, not the cum. Okay, no. Piss. Piss no, like, I want to oh know everything about this. Okay, did the, did the fan like complain after? Was there like uh, the fan seemed to absolutely love it and enjoy it, and then okay. they got roasted in the articles. Like the band had to the band had to put out an official. Listen, we she got a little out of hand last night, but we had a great show. Thanks for coming. <laughs> are they like a, a sort tweet. of like a ramstein thing that she was trying to do where like, yeah, like ramstein used to bring out the fake pecker right and he would and he would yeah like, he would just like come would, on everyone or more, whatever. yeah but it wasn't like that she really she really peed all over his oh, face but did, was, was she doing like a angry rap song or something no, like they have to, no i don't know if she was high or drunk or just being a fucking think, think, heavy I metal i think she was i think she was high because you know to piss on someone oh man but the guy must have been like Oh, I'm enjoying this. I'm never gonna wash my face again. He did. You know, he was. That was him. That was that. Was, you know what? Watch you know the what? footage. It's that'll unbelievable. Be, that'll be something that I'm. I, I'm gonna bring it down with me, Paul. That'll be something that we, we're on both like. Ah, oh, I pissed on my face. I mean, too. Ah, I don't need you know? that. I don't need that. <laughs> I, you know, I don't need you to pee on my face. It's fine. Uh, thank God. Thank God. But but, uh, uh, but, but that stuff is happening in the world. Yeah. So but exactly. But that's okay with it, right? <laughs> and, but, what a but, conversation, guys. I know, but no, all like all I want to say is like you know here, especially going back to Quebec, like we're stuck in the 1800s, and, yeah. And people protested that the CEO of Air Canada didn't speak French. Meanwhile, there's like homeless people. Yeah, there's like actual problems. There's the thing with the the cops beat up another black guy in Montreal, but I guess everybody's talking about the Air Canada. Yeah, I'm like, come on, folks. I don't hear yeah. this from you on our side. We don't hear your news. Uh, you don't hear our news. How's that? Oh. How's Doug Ford uh, doing for you? I hear both because I'm bilingual. Yeah, I do. Great. Yeah, that's great that you hear both. Yeah, he's how's, a, he's how's a Doug shit show. Ford? Yeah, he's he's is, a he's fucking, everyone's a shit show. They're all fucking yeah. liars. They're Everyone's lying. Everyone's yeah, a shit are, show. It's all, it's all very obvious and evident. Nothing is about health. It's all a fucking lie. It's I liked it. Yeah. You know what? You know what? Before we go, I just want to say, I like how you know, during uh, these uh, pandemics, like the premieres and, and whatever, the prime, uh, prime, every, mm. everyone goes on. They're like, we're doing it for the people. We're doing it for the people. But here, like when 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 the shit bag goes on, right? He, it was obvious that there are a few reporters that, thank God, they opened their fucking eyes and were asking yeah. really, really quite obvious, great. not obvious, great questions. But the but the premier was like, uh, 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 that's what I mentioned before. Even Doug <laughs> Ford did it, and I'm like, they all do it. Yeah, all they all do, do it. it. They, they all, all have it. this jargon that they go into. They go into this yeah. fucking automatic. The Trudeau's the fucking worst with it. Yeah, uh, and he just he never answers the question. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Going to, uh we hear. Uh, Believe in the the Canadian people. It says everything is the same fucking answer. Everything, yeah. and he goes right around it, doesn't address it whatsoever. Yeah, completely me, contrived, complete fucking bullshit. Yeah. It's all very obvious and evident. And yeah. 
And that's the world we've always lived in. We're for, just more awake to it now. For me, so yeah. for me, for me what I loved about the, the, the political debates, like, I don't know if you guys want to touch on politics a little bit, but I'm just saying, because something that really pissed me off was when, when, when there's debate and they asked, should, should the natives have running water? And then Trudeau's is like, well, you know, as a Canadian nation, we must. I'm like, I'm like, bro, it's a yes or no question. Yeah, yeah. It's a yes or no question. Really yeah. Why are you asking of course, this fucking as question? As it should be yes. Yeah, I yeah, understand. Goes, yeah. Well, we should. But you know what? I'm like, but but that's why, like, I don't say this joke on stage, but I say this joke to people. I'm like, you know what? If there's a, a provincial election, at least I'd say, well, no, the natives pay taxes. No, they don't pay taxes. We're not giving them. At least be that. Because if you're going to be an asshole, at least come out with it saying, that hey, I'm an yeah. asshole. Yeah, I don't They're like. Be people. like, I don't like natives. If exactly. that's your thing, I know. <laughs> Can you but, just imagine Canadians here? Not the natives. <laughs> brutal. It just it is. It is brutal. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. Well, because the natives don't vote, right? So. Do but they? this is their land and whatever. It all happens for them. It really is. You don't no, know everybody's no, story. You know what I mean? We're, we're no, all immigrants no, here. No, yeah. no. The land belonged to the dinosaurs. All right? Fuck. Dude. Oh, okay. They all died. Yeah, well, just like the flat earthers. <laughs> 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 but, uh, uh, but like, uh, yeah, you know, weird time. Yeah, that's weird sure. time. Yeah. But that's why, you know what, we're, you know, we're like, that's why I find we're, we're in this industry at the right time because – as I always say, you know, like, again, normal people ask me, hey, why do you do comedy? And like, because, mm. you know, like, because because we're surrounded with bullshit. All right. So at least come to a comedy show and listen to me for five to yeah. ten minutes rambling about bullshit. Or you, you know, to see, that's why, like, you know, I make mean, like a lot of my friends, I tell them about you, Paul. I'm like, no, like, follow this guy. Why? Because that one minute or a few mm. minutes of his sketches can get you away from the bullshit that, that you're facing. You know? I appreciate yeah. that, man. Thanks for. Uh for sharing it i really hey, do no, appreciate problem. It. no problem there was but- a in the, in the speech that a comedian gave at some point they were like it, these days it feels less like we're doing comedy and more like we're doing like emergency surgery because people are so depressed that it's yeah comedy's become so important yeah but it's it, it's important but you also gotta it's it's also a, a double-edged sword because you also can't fucking say anything it's like <laughs> You're, yeah. you're, you you cannot be too edgy. You got to be politically correct. Yeah. You say anything wrong, yeah. you are shut down, canceled, destroyed. For well, no I mean, you you can be you can be. It's it's because because there's it's like a fun. there's a way to do it, you know. Because you see people like Bill Burr and stuff, or like uh, Joe Rogan, and like they say a bunch of stuff. Like they say yeah. a bunch of stuff and they don't get canceled. And I think it's just like owning up to it and then going like full tilt into whatever it is. Yeah. But they have a name and they made their but name at a different time. Mm. So if you, if you, if you're a brand new comedian, you're going up there and yeah. doing that kind of controversial shit, you are not going to get ahead. It's not, sorry. In my opinion, from yeah. what it is, from what I've seen, what it, it's just, you still need an established name. Look at Dave Chappelle. Okay. I don't know if you saw Dave Chappelle's newest thing. Yeah, 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 I loved yeah. it. He's always made jokes about the tranny stuff, this and that, but he tells a beautiful story about a friend, a person that he loved and care about, commits yeah. suicide, who was a tranny. Okay? Yeah. And how he accepted him and his family and how he's personally going to pay money to that person's child when they get yeah. old enough. He's going to give them the fund that he's created for them. And somehow, out of all that shit, the same fucking people who chose to be offended, okay? felt that it was an all-out attack on their yeah. kind okay yeah. which is completely not at all what the ha- what the fuck happened okay no there's yeah. nothing offensive in that thing unless you choose to have it be offended yeah offensive. exactly See, i'm not i'm not uh, gay i'm not a, a tranny i'm not anything like that uh but i also know that even watching him say those jokes it it wasn't anything that should not have been taken as a light joke or anything he didn't say anything horrible you know what i'm saying there's so much he worse out there out. yeah and he's made there's, it, out of made comedians on netflix even there's worse but there's people worse. decided to do a walkout for dave Chappelle, and like Hilarious. there's some stuff he said i don't agree with but at the same time it's not like a us versus them it's like we're all in this together but you're going to watch a comedian it doesn't matter he's exactly. speaking you're going to watch a he's just saying show. one thing yeah. why why yeah. pay merit to that Exactly. Well, I mean, he he did a whole he did a whole thing on everything else, and he said one thing. Can you imagine if all of us walked out on shit? If 
one thing a comedian said that we liked, uh, yeah, we didn't like. You're yeah. laughing until it's about you, right? But you still have yeah. to be able to take it. It's not like he's talking about you personally. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How many like, times are going to jab the Italians when we're on the when when they're up on stage, right? No, exactly. And we do this. Can you imagine if we were? I'm not saying, oh, look at us Italians. We're we're resilient. I'm just saying there's hypocrisy all all over the place. It's very evident somebody who's outright trying to attack somebody or making a light of the situation or making a joke of the situation. I don't know. Yeah. I've watched that that special a bunch of times, and there he's exactly saying fuck you for being who you are he's exactly he's literally saying the exact opposite okay yeah. you be you i don't necessarily understand it all but it doesn't matter if i understand it all because i'm not trying to uh bring yeah. you down as a person you know what i'm saying and then yeah. he tells the story about a transsexual one that yeah. he connected with one about that yeah. she was a comedian as well and then she took her life yeah. and and then still and then has a kid and then he has built a, a fund to to pay this kid when they become of age He's going to make sure that no one else takes That's why he's going to hand give it to them. That's yeah. a beautiful story. That's a beautiful purpose. It's a beautiful man, you know, from, from what it, and, and they completely overlooked that. Another example of the media completely misconstruing all of the context. Mm. Um, and just silly, just silly. Yeah. If you're so confident in who you are, then none of that shit should matter. Mm. True. All right. Okay. True. Go be proud. Be a, proud uh uh tranny or whatever you want to you know call yourselves transsexual go be proud be you go yeah. like everyday life and you don't have to people are going to look you know because it's out of the norm they're trying to make it more norm cool but it doesn't mean that they need to be that it's disrespectful it doesn't mean that uh, everybody hates you okay yeah. a lot of people are shit people there will be yeah. people who are going to spew hate but people do that for uh, reasons uh, for anything the way mm. you dress the way you look the way you talk the way your culture your your skin color. There's always going to be asshole people. Yeah, that's most yeah. of the world. No, it is. But, it is. But y- y- when you find the confidence in yourself and you surround yourself with the right people, then it really doesn't matter what they think of you. Oh, Why would it? Sure. And and they're all trying to get everyone's validation from it. Why? Hmm. Why? Okay. That I I feel like the the, the it also goes back to what you were saying before, which like the the real problem. It's not like the opinions of those celebrities or whatever it's that like everybody idolizes them so then everything they say becomes super important but then if everybody just took a step back and was like oh that's just a person well, then it that's... wouldn't matter you would be able to say whatever you want because there wouldn't be like an army of people behind you right. that are taking you literally or not or like basing their entire life on what you say that's you the know? problem with our society you're absolutely right yeah there. Because we idolize celebrities who are nobody. Yeah. They're not gods. They're nobody. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're they another got mental health issues and they're putting it on stage. And then we're like, oh my God, they're amazing. No, they're, no, no. they got it, problems. It, it, like, it's, it, look, it's one thing to enjoy somebody and to respect somebody and to, uh, you know, look up to somebody. There's nothing wrong with that, but you can't lose yourself in that. Yeah. And the typical fanatic loses themselves yeah. in the hysteria that they have created or the television has created about this other human being that is exactly like them. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's, it's not about the fame, man. That's it's, it's just, it's, it's how you relate to people in a true genuine way. And that's why through movies and, and music, it, they're like the soundtrack and, and, you know, comfort of people's lives. They're the escape. So you understand why people like get excited about who they mm. admire. I yeah. love Ryan Reynolds. I'd be very excited to meet him. But also, I'm not going to lose myself in the fact that uh, I won't be able to talk to him or like I like I won't be able to fucking think straight. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like it'd be yeah. like I want to create a genuine moment, you know, with with somebody like that, right? But in the end, yeah. he doesn't give a fuck if I'm eating that night or not. You know what I mean? Yeah. You love the yeah. Montreal Canadiens, and if they fucking lose, uh, it doesn't matter. If they win, it doesn't matter to you, right? You might exactly. like like them or whatever, but they yeah. don't. They're making their own. They're fucking millionaires. Yeah. Competing yeah, yeah. about what? They're millionaires and they have yeah. nothing to worry about ever. And you are so, not you, but you know, like people are yeah. upset when their team loses. Oh, fucking oh yeah. No, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I used to be, you know what? I used to be one of those in my meets who, uh, who has to be, oh man, the abs suck. I'm, now I'm like, listen, do you think they give a shit about if we, if they win or lose? Do you think, and, and that's why the media is like, oh, do you think we're going to win? No, first of all, we're not going to win the Stanley Cup. Like, get, like people have to get that. Toronto has a better chance. But anyways. <laughs> But I'm like, what is it going to change for me? That's why, like, you know, this is where I go a little bit, you know, sour. I'm like, listen, you know what? 
I don't get look, I'll be honest with you. I don't give a fuck if the Habs win or lose. Why? What is it gonna affect me? What is it gonna affect you? Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna take our minds away from the bullshit. Uh, Which the, is you know, important. That's important. Yeah. Exactly. But that's what it is. But that's then, all but it then, should be. Yeah. No. But then, you know, going back to reality, but at the end, you really think that, uh, oh, I'm winning this for Montreal. They're paid. They're probably paid to say that, but they don't really say, oh, I'm doing this for Montreal. They don't they give really, a fuck. They, they don't give a fuck. Look, they, of course they care for themselves and they went to win a mm. team. But it, but in the end, at the end of the day, you got to go home and pay your bills. No, exactly. They're not going to pay it for you. I know. Exactly. So they P- wouldn't lose. What you said is, is what, like you said, it's the escape. Yeah. And the mental health escape is what's so important for all of us, whether it be the gym, a restaurant, yeah. or fucking the movies, which they have all conveniently taken away from us again, okay? Unless unless you are and punish you if you don't show, you know, a, a bullshit piece of paper that literally means nothing, okay? Yeah, no, wait, Austria, Austria got it worse. Than that, I huh? saw that, yeah. They're all, and you yeah. should see Australia, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, have a, now, we have a follower. No, uh, it's, not, it's not about health. It's just about control and... Yeah. Uh, and if it was about health, then they'd still be testing everybody at the door. Yeah. A negative yeah. test is the only for sure, whatever. You have a passport. Yeah. It does not prove that you're not yeah. contagious. It does not prove you don't have COVID. It does not mm-hmm. prove that you're healthy. It just proves that you did what they said. You want to you yeah. know something really funny? Um, so Friday, uh, I went to go get lunch downstairs of the food court for my work. But I was coughing, right? And the security guard comes up to me. So I just show him the vaccine passport. Goes, oh, okay. Now I'm like, and I'm just standing there. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck just happened? Yeah, but you, you know, could still I, very well have had COVID. Yeah, exactly. Or, because or everyone making everybody's popcorn. No, no, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. Oh no, we wear a mask. I just take, I, I, just, I, I just put my dirty hands in there and just eat them. Um, yeah, you there know. you go. It's okay, but hey, but you know we have to still have to wear a mask. But, but whatever. But yeah. uh, uh, you know, all I'm saying is that what I really want to say is that you know, like, 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 if you're watching a hockey game, like, like going to see a band is kind of a different story because you know. Yeah, because I support that band and this and that, and, and and you know, but at the end of the day, for me, like that's why I love comedy, you know, because 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 you get to listen five to ten minutes, all of us just rambling about like you know how like you know like how we fell yeah. down the stairs by slipping on a banana peel, you know. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, we're 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 we're, we're, we're fucked. Victoria, you want to keep adding something to this? What? Like yeah. what? I don't know. Like, 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 do you agree, disagree with you know, what we're saying? Oh, well, I mean, I disagree with everything the government's done so far because I feel like even if you take into account their goals, they're not doing anything that's going towards that goal. And it, it, they're not being congruent with themselves. And it, like, I believe in the vaccine. And I think there's like a lot of different opinions here on like stuff like that. But in the at the end of the day, like, I believe in the vaccine, and I, I, I believe that we should uh, stay on lockdown when we were doing lockdown, but they weren't doing anything properly. No, they, they weren't, weren't doing the lockdown prop, which is why it's it, it, it lasted so long. And I was like, well, let us go or not. Like, just let us go see other people. And why, are, why were the schools still open? But then the kids weren't allowed to see other kids after school. Like it didn't. None of this made yeah, any exactly. sense to so me. Yeah, exactly. So you tell me, yeah, tell me you're going to school, but then after that, they, you can't get the fuck. And then they were saying they were going to school because otherwise it wouldn't be social, and it would it would it would set them back mentally. But then social, they're not allowed to see people. So like I I don't understand. It would should be the other way around if you're sense. trying to no. to make them. All of it has has contradicts itself every which way you look at it. It didn't make it. it, It's like, and I understand that politicians are not smart. Like they're not, they don't have a degree in anything. Like they're just idiots off the street that people know exactly what they're doing. It is all part of a plan. It is always part of a plan. Politics. That is what politics is. Yeah. It is all on purpose. But that's what it is. It's just trying to get more power, right? These people, they want power. They want to be able to control and whatnot. But it, I just. It is a it is a perfect example of uh, overreach of control. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. If if this and if this shot you know works so fucking well, and uh, why do you need number three and four soon? Why can't oh, you be around people? Especially, uh, it, it has already been proven proven uh-huh. that uh, uh, unvaxxed and vax spread it just as easily towards each other. So Absolutely. it is completely untrue that that unvaxxed people are putting vaccinated people at risk. Any which way you look at it, by yeah. definition. Yeah, exactly. On top of that, yeah. it's also untrue from the propaganda bullshit they've said in the media about that. 
it's whoever is sick and showing symptoms is going to be a cause for concern. Yeah. And right now it has been proven and finally fucking reported everywhere that vaxxed, double vaxxed are doing, are passing it as easily. Yeah. So what yeah. was the be point? Yeah, There's because, no point. Yeah. yeah, yeah maybe it's, it hasn't softened the blow for a lot yeah. of people. They've told you it has. I now know more people with adverse side effects than I do COVID problems. Yeah. yeah. I've also had someone in the family pass away from COVID. I myself have had COVID. Thank you. But it's not, my point is that I'm talking from all angles. I'm not speaking yeah, 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 from yeah, one sure, ignorant sure. point of view. Yeah. I've yeah. taken everything. And when you read the data and you see the data of the other experts that have come out, expert doctors who have come out and are explaining now the data that is public, that everyone can see and from Fauci himself and all this shit. When you take all of that and consider they, they show there has been more damage done by these vaxes than the yeah. actual numbers of COVID. And all of the COVID deaths have been embellished as well. And that has also been proven. And it's still being cut down here, Italy, Austria, everything. This yeah. is about power. I'm not saying COVID doesn't yeah. exist. I'm not saying there isn't a bad virus out there. I'm not saying that. I had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they've also now published natural immunity, six to 13 times more protective than a double jab. How yeah. come I can't come, uh, fucking participate in society? Yeah. I can't have my basic rights. This because, is so ridiculous. Yeah, because here's the it, thing. Here's the thing. Because they still and, believe that you're but, a risk to other people. But you yeah. can, you can, because uh, you've had it, you can get your proof that you've had it. And I you can that, add that. It's not to valid. The, it's not, what do you mean? No, it's not, it's valid. not valid. I have it. I've shown yeah. it. It's, it's not but valid. But you have it like on your phone? Because I think yeah. you can add it to the, and then the, they don't let you in. They won't let you in unless you are, are va vaxxed. But I think that's illegal. They're supposed to. It's all to illegal. Be Victoria, yeah. all no, no, of this no, is no. illegal. I, I, I know, I know, but yeah. I, what I'm saying is, like, according to the government guidelines, they're supposed to let you in if you have a proof of either vaccination or immunity. No, 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 no. or it's immunity have... and one vaccine. No, no, it's all. It's only vaccines. It's only vaccines. Yeah, you need to have two. Yeah. Yeah, and soon, and soon, both of you will not be considered fully vaccinated. Yeah, I know, because we need like a third. Uh, yeah, no, for diabetes. And then what? If, and then a fourth? And yeah, then a fifth? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. A sixth? diabetics have to go yeah. get my. Uh, I have to go get my yeah. third one soon. So they say. But you want to know what's really stupid, though? They're, and they, they haven't even fixed the hospitals. This whole thing is because they're like the hospitals are not going to be able to take the load, which like. I, I agree. Something? I agree because I saw what we saw what happened in like Italy and stuff, and yeah. the doctors were like crying and whatnot. But then like they didn't do anything to fix it. And right Listen. now there's nothing happening, and they could put a plan in place want, and they have yeah, time you, and they're not doing anything. No, no, but they put a billion folks, dollars into a fucking app. Yeah. One billion dollars into yeah. an app that they were supposedly only gonna use for six months. This shit ain't going away. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to become a social credit system. This is yeah. read up, read up on it. You, it's you want to know something? Scary. Yeah, you want to know something really sad? Uh, I know we're supposed to end like ten, like ten minutes ago, but this is actually this, this is interesting. Yeah, we got to end. I, I got to go, but it's been so, great. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, like when I wasn't like you know like when I was hospitalized, like you know because I, uh, I was able to walk properly. I passed by the uh, place that COVID. I just COVID patients, and I'm walking in there. First of all, there, like, there was no one around there, so you had to go there in a full entrance. I wonder, like, this myself was walking around. There was, like, it's a regular emergency room. And I'm like, excuse me, like, where's the COVID? She goes, oh, you're in it. I'm like, ah. Mm -hmm. The nurse is sitting there. No one is telling me to put on because what's put on if you're, you know, go mm -hmm. visit someone emergency you're supposed to wear this hazmat, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. I was just, I was in there in the, in, the, in a hospital uniform. You know, my ass was about to show because I didn't pull up my underwear that much. So I'm walking, I'm walking around. I'm like, ah, so this is the COVID union. Ah, and then the security's like, oh, what are you doing? I'm like, ah, oh, I got lost. So I'm like, I know where I, where I'm going. I'm walking around I'm like, man, it's like. Okay, yeah, it's it's a little busy. It's a little busy. I'm not gonna lie. It is a little bad. I'm like, okay. And then after I got out of the hospital, I'm like, oh, and then after meanwhile, you know, it's still like language laws and issues. I'm like, oh yeah. motherfucker, like there's people in the ER, like yeah. ERs are overflowing, and there's homeless people in the metros. But yeah, it's okay. You know what? Do you want to go argue about stupid things and spend one what is it one two billion dollars on a fucking app? That's all you mentioned. A billion dollars on an app that they claim to only use for a few months. Yeah, yeah a few right. months. Yeah, right. You know what? Okay. You know what? It's like saying I'm going to be getting a girlfriend soon. All right, so <laughs> you don't have just... to throw yourself under the bus like that. I know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But, you, you might know, be. That's <laughs> the that's the thing. It just blows my mind. And here's like, the thing: the, the equality needs to be there for certain things. We've now known that no one is more of a risk to each other than not actually. They now know that natural immunity still has is less of a risk 
because yeah. they're immune for fuck's sakes. Truly immune. Truly. Yeah. Okay. And 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 proven and continuously proven. But they are trying to they spent the money already. Okay. Millions think, on yeah. these. We're in bed with Pfizer. The country's in bed with Pfizer. We know that yeah. the, the Trudeau said this. So no matter what, they are going to push that you are not doing your part if you don't get it. They're going to push that you are going to yeah. die if you don't get it. You're they're going to push that you still, even though it's been proven wrong. Yeah. They're going to try to tell you that you're putting others at risk. Remember, this is all you don't kill your yeah. grandmother or your parents. That is not, it was never the fucking case in the beginning. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. The information that is available to you and the information that people are blowing the whistle on is unimaginable yeah. and, and mind blowing that it is not in the mainstream media. And we know that that is bought and paid for. Oh, absolutely. Always has been. Absolutely. So all you've seen, all we saw about Italy, all we've seen. And they've proven what footage was not real, by the way. Like all those tanks, all those fucking tanks that they said the claim were bodies being pulled out. That was from fucking a, a wreckage or something uh, yeah. 10 years ago, some bullshit. They are deceiving left, right, and center. Yeah. I'm yeah. not saying there aren't people in the ICU, but all these nurses and doctors have also been threatened with their careers. You think your doctor is going to tell you the truth? No, he's They're going to tell you they're not allowed to go say anything that goes against the vaccine. Yeah. They're not allowed. Okay. They're not going to tell you. They don't give a fuck about your health. They should. They should. They're supposed to do it. A doctor should be like a detective and find out exactly everything that you're on or have been yeah. on medically. Well, hold on. No, know... the, I have to admit, though, the doctors that I have for diabetes, amazing fucking people. I'm sure they're amazing people, but you also don't know who to really fucking believe, man. I'm happy that they're yeah. working for you. You think that they're working, we're working for you, and that's great. And I hope that they do. I'm not. But I also don't think that you need to be fucking jabbed another any more times. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. This was gonna okay. happen, and and oh no, sorry to cut you off. I was no, gonna, no, I was gonna... I've been talking too much. The point <laughs> is that we just, it's it's we are. It is not what they claim it is. No, but and people, good people, and good doctors, and fucking real people are getting their story out there, and none of it is making the mainstream news. No, and it's that's not. that's what shows you even more so that yeah. it's even more real because it, I, and they're censoring and silencing everybody. I'm I'm gonna say this. Yes, um, right. as someone who like I believe in the vaccine, I got vaccinated cool. and everything. Uh, I don't think that it should be Many. that you should be like imprisoned because you don't have it. Like I think it's kind of, it's getting a little out of hand. But like, um, there's so much information out there on social media. Um, I don't know how to say this. It's like, it's like. When I look at anti-vaccine videos, there's just so many people out there that are completely, they're having some sort of episode. Like they're not, like you're talking to me and you're saying there's a lot of like information that's true out there and stuff. But there's also like a lot of people that think that there's a chip in the vaccine or that um, that if you take the vaccine, then you're gonna you're gonna get I don't know like a, a worse COVID or that mm -hmm. um, antibody dependent enhancement but, or or or, or that that the vaccine is making you submissive and is gonna turn us into slaves or there there's some of... sort of brainwashing agent in the yeah. vaccine and it's like I'm like looking at all this and I'm like okay that's not let's look at the it, real it just looks like a big mishmash it of, sounds like um, it you're right and yeah. it's not a lot of it sounds far fetched however when you and I'm not saying any of that is true. What I'm saying is that you need to look at what is happening, which are the actual deaths and adverse yeah. reactions yeah. that yeah. are happening, that they are that are happening more than what they've told us. And you can see the proof of that on, from the VAER site and then some and watch panels of people yeah. tell their stories. Healthy people, younger yeah. than you and I, more fit than you and I, more fucking anything. OK, and 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 they were perfectly fine just before and immediately after. I now know personally, mm. personally, more people who have had this myocarditis, this pericarditis, strokes, death, a heart attack. I know a 23-year-old had a fucking heart attack after her first goddamn jab directly because of that. Okay? Yeah. And she's one of thousands that they're not telling us about. I had and that. I, okay? So, so again, yeah. it may be for the more susceptible, like you have diabetes, so you might be more susceptible. But are you? We don't know. Okay? Honestly, because the only it's causing thing, more problems yeah. for other people. Yeah, and honestly... Oh no, go, go, ahead. Ahead, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, 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 I can I'm gonna stop because no, no, go ahead. Please, you, unless please, you it's please. scary, all of it is scary. But yeah, when you is. look at the history of yeah. look at the history of Pfizer, Pfizer's been sued for billions for medical fraud within the decade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You and trust the, that? 
No. Moderna's already been put off the shelves in fucking Sweden. Moderna. Yeah, that's true. So is AstraZeneca. Well, who's to say it's not going to happen with Pfizer? They're not going to let that happen because we're already in bed for millions and millions yeah, and millions yeah, and millions yeah, of dollars yeah, with them. So Pfizer... they're going to tell you that it's not the right thing. Now, I'm not trying to alarm you no. because mm -hmm. you have it. But I'm also, at least if you hear something now, if you do more of your own research and don't just pass it all off as conspiracy because everything that was considered conspiracy theory is now our life. Yeah, that's a, a that's ago. another thing that's super scary is that like I remember like a year or two ago, like some people were saying stuff like conspiracy theories that like actually happen. And I'm like, I don't like this. Yeah, I liked it better when conspiracy theorists credits. were just crazy people. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. they were never crazy people because know. they know yeah. they, they're just paying attention when yeah. you pay attention. Wait. You have and to we need. We need right. that in society. We need right, the conspiracy theorists to pay attention, to look at the details. Yeah, you but you then, don't need them. You need you to pay attention. The yeah, thing exactly. is, we've all, we're all so spoiled yeah, that we just we, we should yeah. believe what the TV tells us. We should believe what the main CDC tells us and whatever. We should be able to believe them. We should yeah. be able to not be yeah. to, to not have to question them. Absolutely. But we do and we must because history has told us that a thousand times over. Yeah, so absolutely. When you, when you keep ignoring history... And we keep mm. thinking, oh, it's just all going to go away. And you don't do your part. You doing your part is educating yourself Yeah. on all aspects. There are always three sides to a story, if not more. Yeah. Not yeah. just you know, one. Yeah. And all the fucking media does and what all mm. these corporate traditions have bought into is that you are a fucking criminal and horrible piece yeah. of shit in society if you don't have your vaccines and we let you into a restaurant. Yeah. That's disgusting. That's but discrimination at the, time, at the highest level. Yeah. But 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 at the same time, restaurant owners are complaining there's not a lot of businesses going on. You know, because uh, that's because 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 even when people have their, are fully vaxxed, uh, the numbers at restaurants and movies and comedy shows, they're not at the high capacity. Yeah, it's high capacity uh, capacity. People could come back, but it's not like what it used to be. You know, yeah. there's always that, you know, it's well, not but that's thrill. why I've even made videos of that. And, and yeah, these idiots, movies, restaurants. Paul. 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 Oh, man, oh, man, the government got him. Paul. The government got him. <laughs> he was speaking the truth and they cut his oh, internet. Man. What's happening? Oh, you video Tron. Oh, Paul, are you still there? <laughs> <laughs> he got he got a dart in his neck. That's why he caused him to. Fall I believe him. now. I believe. Oh no! I believe. Oh no! Oh, but seriously, we have to check up on him. No, like, no, no, no. Okay, Victor, keep talking to him as I as um as I as I as check you up check on up on him. Yeah, 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 keep talking to. Him. Well, okay, keep talking. I'm I'm gonna say. Uh, that I got my vaccine and oh did you know that women they get pretty bad period after their vaccine yeah no you're not the only one who's telling who, who, who said this like uh, like uh, it was like, insane for me like I thought it was like I was like I should be wearing a diaper like there's no way anything can hold in that much like it's like the red wedding like I don't I I, I didn't I couldn't even like it's like it's like I was uh, just pissing myself you know what I mean Yeah. It didn't it didn't make any sense. And then like other women were telling me it was the same thing. So I was like, okay, thank thank God. You know. And then it lasted for like uh instead of like five days, it was like two weeks. Oh, two wow. weeks. Oh, Jesus Christ. Two weeks of this. Jesus Christ. Hey, you must have been like, oh my god, it's like the red ready for game. Oh shit. And 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 the th also it was late. So like I had like a huge pregnancy scare because it was like oh, two days shit. late. But then after that, it was like fucking um you know, uh, just like a broken dam or something. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know I'm trying I'm I'm trying to get a hold of Paul Luduga. Uh, did your did your uh did your uh uh weenus work properly after a vaccine? Did you oh, feel no, anything I, in oh, your no. in your balls? I just had diarrhea for like fucking three consecutive hours. Well, I had that too. I'm like, I'm like oh ah, fuck, you know, like uh but for yo, three hours like that? Okay, okay. It wasn't three what hours always. It was well, like no, Well, no, Some point your, your stomach has to be empty. Uh, What happened to Paul? Uh, he's he, he's going to come back. Uh, give me a, uh, give him a few minutes. Alpha says, I was also pissing blood after my first vaccine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, That happens to the drop. best of us. We'll no backup. Don't worry. 
Ah, uh, okay. So, so Paul's like, my internet dropped, still not back up. Okay. Well, that's okay. We can Hold keep on. the show going. Exactly. We'll keep it going. And you guys should go check out Paul's Instagram because yeah, it's, exactly. Exactly. it's actually okay. really high quality, guys. Like, it's, I don't, I can't oh. believe this person is on our show. You oh know, you're going to love it. Paul, Paul's like, yeah, how convenient that happens while I'm spinning facts about these mandates and they, and, and they cut my internet. Yeah, eh? Ah, oh, man. I'm scared. I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm really scared. Ah, oh, man. But maybe your kidney stone, Alpha, was caused yeah, by maybe, the Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe it was your kidney stones. Yeah. Are you going to get the, the third uh, vaccine, Claudio? Uh, I have to. I have no choice. Yeah. Uh, I don't know you? about me. Like, I just, like, I was yeah, scared but... to get the first two shots, and I ended up getting them in the end. But... I, I am like, I don't know. Cause I feel like I'm at risk. If I get COVID I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm at risk of like, um, all of the bad stuff. You know, if I was like super fit and healthy, then I probably wouldn't have gone the vaccine because it wouldn't, it wouldn't have affected me strongly. But I think it's just like, I'm not all fit and healthy, so I, I probably I should. Honestly, I didn't get the side effects. Uh, I didn't get the side effects as I, uh, uh, as everyone says. You know, I, I just got. But diarrhea. you said you shot for three hours, you know, and then you were tired for a whole day. That was that was my second dose, but nothing really, you know, drastic. That's like, those are the the classic symptoms. And also, apparently, fever is one of the classics too. Yeah, fever. Yeah, yeah. fever, headache, and headache uh, con uh, no nausea, diarrhea. I'm like, I'm like, ah, well, fuck, thanks. No, like, like, like I wish, I wish weight loss was one of the symptoms. Oh, you know yeah, what I, I mean, know, I know, me too. I'm like, I'm like, if right, it was the case, I feel like everybody would like throw themselves on the vaccine. Hey, Pfizer, maybe you should work on that. Yeah, I know, because since the you vaccine cut off would pause... like make you lose like a good twenty pounds, yeah, no, that'd be I, great. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but it, you know, because. Uh, yeah, no. Well, well, let's wait a bit more. Like if Paul. if if the vaccine made you have a bubble butt, mm, give or, me uh, two. You know, I was I was gonna make a comment, but I'm not gonna. I'm not, what were you gonna say? I was say you have a fine ass, but I'm like I'm not gonna do it. You can't see my ass through my pants, anyways. I always wear loose fitting clothes. Cause you're a loose person. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get back uh, on, but it's still not loading. Sorry, but okay. Did so, yeah, you no. tell him that you just called me a loose person? Yeah, I'm rebooting one more time to try. Okay, no, so, 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 so he's going to reboot one more time. I'll wait for him like 10 more minutes. Yeah. And then after that, we'll go. But it was an interesting, uh, tonight was really interesting, though. It was interesting. It was, it was, uh, it was interesting, uh, you know. But, you know, worst comes to worst, we're going to have him on again. Yeah, for sure. I would love to have him on. He's so easy to talk to. Exactly, exactly. He's not like you, you know. Uh, I'm easy to talk to. What are you talking about? You know, you what talk to me all the time. Yeah, you talk to me all the time. Well, so I can't be that hard to talk to. Yeah, well, you know. Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. But, <laughs> oh, man, this is actually like, like, like honestly, like now, now I'm a bit freaked out right now. Because he got to, but no, it's his internet. Like, okay, I mean, yeah, because, because having... did you see Elizabeth Stanton's fucking Facebook? They would have cut off her internet like a long time ago. If this, if they were doing that, she would be living in the dark ages. That's true. You know what I mean? That's true. That's true. But if no. I, if if anyways, if yeah, Alex yeah. Jones still has the internet. <laughs> Um, I Alex think Jones. we're fine. Yeah, you know? for now. But you know, I, I'm, I'm not. You know, but you know, like it will be good to finish off with what Paul was saying. Yeah. But you know, but uh, there you go. Even people in the comments, you know. So uh, Alpha is like, "What's happening tomorrow? Uh, what's what is happening? What's tomorrow? tomorrow? Yeah, what's tomorrow, Alex? Oh yeah, tomorrow's the funny juice. Funny juice. Open mic. Yeah. It's tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Thompson's gonna be posting. Get your Ooh. tickets. Uh, they're flying off the shelf, as they say. Are, are they? Yeah, they are. 
they really are and i'm happy and we only have this show and then uh, one on the 30th before christmas before oh. like we take a, a break for the holidays mm -hmm. and then we're back in 2022 so yeah come no. through because we're gonna have uh lawrence corber lucy gervais Alo asimov monica hamburg i'm forgetting people yeah. But it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, Ben Cardilli. But it's like a really good lineup. It's good. a good lineup. Good, 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 good. I'm proud. I'm proud. You're proud? About, yeah. You're even proud. Uh, people even get tickets to our show uh, this Thursday, huh? Yeah. It's, it's, it's free the, now. So, yeah, like, a, just come hang out with us. Yeah, it's a pay what you can in the end. So, if you want to yeah. give 50 bucks, give 50 give bucks. Give 50 bucks. If you want to give us a uh, smile. Cents. We also accept smiles. Exactly. And it's going to be uh, Victoria, Joy, or Peter who's going to host because I'm not going to be there. Well, it's not going to be me because I've been hosting like the last three ones. Okay, okay come on. Okay, in December, I'm going to fucking host, okay? I'm, I'm going to fucking host in December. Yeah, go ahead. All right, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, go you. ahead and host. Yo, I thought you were going to say horror. I, thought, I really thought you were going to say horror. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I hold wouldn't on. do that to yeah, you. Uh, sorry, buddy. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, hold on. Just give me a sec. What are you? Who are you talking to? Uh, his internet completely cut out. Oh, well, that that's okay. What's the poster behind you? Is it Dunkirk. Terminator? No, it's Dunkirk. Who's Dunkirk? It's a it's a it's a war movie that came out Christopher Nolan a few years ago, mm. and it's the it it's looks the, like a Christopher Nolan like blues, yeah, you know. So you know, it's one of my favorite movies. Uh, it's one of my Chris, top ten favorite Christopher Nolan movies because I still a, haven't forgiven for the the movie Insomnia. Yeah, but yeah, but you see, it wasn't a Christopher Nolan movie, even though he directed it. Well, whose movie was it? It's just he got hired, but he didn't write the movie. He didn't write the story. Yeah, it was it was it was something. I, I like like you know what? Like I want to buy it, but yeah. it was but it was but it was a good uh, Nolan movie. I'm not gonna lie, it was it was really yeah. Good. Well, it did make a quite an impression on me, so I will say it was a good movie. Yeah, and Robin you Williams. Know? Really but I just don't good. like the impression it made on me. Yeah. Like I didn't I didn't want to see that. Yeah, and and, and then you know every like. That that movie made me maybe start seeing Al Pacino every time he talks is like chewing gum or something. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, uh, you know, so Dunkirk, it's like an hour and it's just it's an hour and forty six minutes about uh the military. Um it's like the after uh, D Day and they're trying to escape the beaches of uh, France. But the enemies are always going in, and and they're always trying to bombard the ships that they're supposed to go on. And uh, it's it, it's a really and it's like a airplane fights. It's something. It's really it's really a lot uh, of shootouts. A lot Claudio of shootouts. Loves his shootouts. Exactly. Uh, exactly. So, um, all right. Is there anything else you want to say, Victoria? And uh, come to the funny juice. I think Tom might be doing musical comedy. And we have free candy for everyone. Okay, so thank God I'm not coming or else I'll be diabetic. You're always diabetic, Claudio. I know. No, but, no, sorry. Shit. What I meant to say is thank God I'm not coming or else I'll be uh, going to the hospital after. Yeah. Or you yeah. could just not eat the candy, you know. Enjoy the show. Yeah, that's, that's true. We have I'll popcorn. See. Actually, and good cocktails and mocktails, which I can't believe so many bars don't do mocktails because I don't drink. And I'm like, it would be so easy for them to do a cocktail that doesn't have a, like alcohol in, and I would buy it. So why don't they do that? You know? True. Very true. Just do a thing, you know? That's Cucumber true. Cucumber water. I don't know. Something. That's true. You're very true. Uh, all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Thursday, even Alpha is going to be on the Dirty Four. Uh, we do it every Thursday night. Uh, it's gonna be, and I'm he's going to make there. someone cry. Exactly. Uh, tickets for the Dirty Four, uh, offbeat November 28th at 8 p.m. At 30 p.m., we have an amazing lineup. Jason Sullen's going to headline. And we have uh, comedians uh, such as Charles. Paul Silverman. No, no, no. no that's next month. This ah. month, this one about Charles Danglian, Vance Michelle, and Peter Bowen. Whoa, who do you think is going to win? It's not a comedy competition anymore. Of what? We Why not? Out, because we took that out. I'm like, eh, whatever. Because the comedians would get jealous. No, it's not that. I'm just like, you know what? Let's start, let's start to pay um, 
start start you know let's just start to pay people right yeah yeah. Uh, oh, you want to pay everyone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Paul Duca says, thanks for having me, man. Say bye to Victoria for me. I enjoyed chatting with, with you. Bye, both. Paul. All right. Bye, man. You're so nice. We will have you back in December. And that's not Claudio writing, guys. He's reading. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's ladies, his reading pace. Yeah, exactly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been our episode. It's been really fun. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yes. You have yeah. to like the yeah. click the like button. Exactly. Uh next Monday though, I have or else a gig. you'll get diabetes. Yeah, I have a gig next Monday. So if uh, Victoria mm -hmm. wanna do something with Joy and Peter, uh let me know. And I, yeah. and then uh, there we go. So we do this usually every Monday, sometimes uh, Sunday. But uh, that's it. So, uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, have yourselves a good night. Uh, we're going to have uh, Dan Grinnell. Uh, he's going to be coming back in December. Uh, and some other people are going to be coming back too. Uh, yeah. So there we go. So uh, if you want to follow more Paulo Duca stuff, there's a links here at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And uh, go and see Victoria tomorrow night at Funny Juice. She is an amazing comedian. Yes. Amazing vegan. Yes. And uh, and I'm not even going to be on stage that day, so I can hang out with you. If you exactly. Come. And then, you know, she'll, 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 she'll be there and staring at the wall with you. All what? right, ladies. What yeah. Stuff to do. <laughs> like what? Well, I make sure everybody's comfortable. Well, that's not much you can do. They go and sit down and watch the show. Like, what are you going to do? Like, like, I, are you going to do I a lap dance? I can fluff their gonna... pillows. I can do a lap dance. Oh, please don't, 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 don't. Yeah, I can sit on people's laps while oh. they're dancing. Right. All right, everyone. Have a good night. See you next time. And uh, bye. Don't forget to like, share, Bye, guys. Bye, 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 bye. bye.